realizing that I am literally the most disciplined guy that y'all know. Everybody on this panel know, Quentin included, that I am literally the most disciplined disciplined guy. But then every time I come up here, Quentin is like this. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I, I am the most upright, straight up, disciplined dude y'all know. But yet, I catch all of the flack and I don't understand it. I'm the most disciplined guy you know. No, you're not. Nah, my I'm man. You have a new chick every month. No, right. I don't. And, he, and he the one that, that be looking at me crazy, and I'm looking at him like he crazy. I don't have a new chick every month. Accusations. Hey, I just told you, the girl that I bought to the meetup is pregnant. What's wrong with those preg these pregnant chicks? Wait, you're meeting up with a new chick? No, she sent me the picture of that. She said, she, I'm about to send you a picture. I was like, yeah. she sent me a picture of her big ass belly. And I was like, <laughs> Violation. Yo. That could have been me. Immediate yeah. violation. I said, how do you get pregnant on birth control? You can. It happens. No you can. <laughs> you can. If you take like antibiotics, it like cancels out the birth control. If she's like, I guess it depends what time she takes. We switched from the IUD to like normal. I guess she didn't wait the time period. But for me, I guess she wait too much. not the daddy. I'm not. Back to, Anton, back to Anton Spuel. His, his, his what? No, Spuel. I really am. I really am. I'm the most disciplined dude ever. No, you're not. What'd you have for dinner? What'd you have for dinner? No, 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 no. We talking about specific applesauce. We talking about... Um... <laughs> I just had applesauce, but with, with regard to women and stuff, I'm really super disciplined, especially with the amount of access that I have. I think I am pretty too. Like I don't, I don't have as many as women as as, as Q says. Quentin, Quentin. I pre, I've been pretty. I you. I've been pretty solid. I don't. I've um. I've taken my um my penis out the shape. Mm. Mm, Interesting. I don't think so. But I've been since we're here, six months. You been what? Celibate for six months. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cat. Yeah. Have you used your hand? Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. Here's a question. Here's another question. Does celibacy also include jacking off? I haven't done that either. Cat. Ultra it's cat. Six I know. <laughs> I have my alarm set. I have my alarm set for for eight months. And I'm on. how Four about months. the sweets? What do you What do you holding off of for? Just as long as I can go. Mm. Mm. How long you think you can go? It's getting rough. I don't leave my house, and it's been the winter time, so that's kind of helped. But like, once I go outside in the summertime, it might not be so good. All right. So you can't control yourself putting yourself in time. Like I'm so tired. I don't I don't I don't I don't do that. Well y'all got a wild city too though. Stop. You know y'all really do have a wild city. Like y'all got a city that's that's kind of crazy, bro. Dude, that was like five random white people that do weird shit. That ain't the no, black. it wasn't just them. It was a lot of the minute that I stepped outside of my hotel room, it was wild. Like it wasn't even just them, it was a bunch of different chicks and i'm like is oklahoma city really like this i, I live in the outside but the outskirts with the mm. stories quit be telling us i think it's a wild city especially it is a wild city it's a swinger city oh makes it's sense home of the 2024 nba champions as well it, it's a it's a I don't know about that, but it is definitely a swinger city. Well, I don't know if you would say swinger city. It's just a city that's just like we're conservative as fuck. Like we're red. No, all not. In no, all not. Listen, listen. We have seventy-seven counties, and they're all red. Every single last one of them. Listen, and and that city in Oklahoma City, in in the city. Listen, that's just like saying Texas, right? You could say Texas is conservative, but Houston is liberal as hell. Like in Oklahoma City, there's blue it, pockets in Texas, though. There's nothing blue about Oklahoma. Nothing. Oklahoma City. Listen, everybody know that's in Oklahoma City. That that city got no no rules at all. <laughs> there's no rules when it comes to women. There's no rules. Yo, the same night, dude was willing to like 
he was like, yo, you want my chick? I was like, no. <laughs> like, they, I'm not they, interested they, in your they, chick. They, they were both having sex with that one girl and they didn't know who the daddy was, but they were both okay with it. <laughs> yeah, that was insane, bro. <laughs> Same night. They're like, Same I guess night. Here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, no, don't, don't, don't want your chick, bro. At yeah, all, man. Let's go about it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's the wild city. I mean, I believe it. The stories Quinn tell us about himself. I haven't told wild. you about myself. Quentin. And, and you know what the funny thing it's is? I, I had it. I had it all on camera. Like I was literally vlogging while a lot of that stuff was happening. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, what channel did you post it on? Was it this one? It was this one. Well, it was this one. In the closet. Well, oh. since we're here, make sure you guys hit the like button. Alexandra, we see you, but your struggle stream and come back and leave again. Welcome you guys to the Anton Daniels channel. Make sure you go follow his other channels, the Millionaire Morning Show. What's the new one that you named that you said that you came up with? After Hours. No, I thought you came up with another one. Oh, Room 9. That's funny. Room 9. I haven't created, I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm working on it. Oh, good. Yeah, definitely go follow his other channels, different content. You never know what you might see or hear on those channels. Okay. Welcome, everybody that's new. Welcome, everybody that's returning. Please be nice to them, chat. Um, we know y'all mean sometimes, and thank you guys for being here. Share this with y'all family, your sisters, and your group chat. And Shout we're gonna to get to you. Top with all they hair. Your line lineup is a little crooked, but <laughs> shout out to everybody that's here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the first video. That's what I want to say because y'all know exactly who y'all be playing with, and that's that. Shit I we're don't like. Yeah. To. I don't like that. Shit. Y'all will come there. Y'all will go talk to a girl with the Chanel bag with the thousand dollar weave driving a G wagon, and you know that either she got it already or somebody's yep. providing that lifestyle for her. Then you gonna come, you want to bag her and then be like, oh, she wanted my bills paid. You want me to leave the? N- I'm laying with the come lay up under you, right. and you don't want to do nothing if you cannot what if exceed I'm trying my to, ex. What if I'm trying ex, to love you? you ex- let the love, <laughs> let, let the love work. Love don't pay the bills, and I don't know how many. Why do they? Why do they use that and say, "Well, love should be enough"? It ain't enough for them. If I was fat, ugly, and couldn't cook or clean, and I was like, "But I love you," you wouldn't care about me. At you all. would. You would be like, "Oh, love." Ooh, no, 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 true, no, true. and and it. Hmm. Should men date more in their tax bracket? Anybody can jump in. Yes. <clears throat> Go ahead and explain. Um, basically, what she just reaffirmed. If you're, it's a difference if you're going at somebody that's on your level, like your peer, like y'all make them out, y'all make uh just about the same. You're not shooting out of your league. That's where a lot of this the problem comes. You got men, the average hardworking man trying to go after the Instagram baddie, the shorty that that is in the G wagon, that that has the fat ass, the BBLs, and then you got the shorties who regular degular, who go got the calls in a job that won't usher, the millionaires, the hundred thousand. So it's just it's a bunch of confusion. It's a bunch of shooting out of your own league and just go for where you are, not where you want to be. That's how I see it. I feel like it depends on what their tax bracket is. Like, if they're in a higher tax bracket, then they could date anybody they want to. But if they're in a lower tax bracket, then it's probably more wise to hang out in that vicinity because you're not going to be able to afford everybody. Well, let, let, let's be clear though. There's like a tax bracket from like 45K to like 110. So that's one tax bracket. <laughs> Just saying. Let's be clear. What's the, where's the majority of people at? Like we like to to take out oh look at this individual this individual what is the majority of people and where do they stand the majority of us the average person in America man or woman ranges from forty to fifty five k that's that's what it is only what fifteen to twenty percent make a hundred k and that's everybody gay men women uh like everybody so we got to be realistic about this most of us shoot not our skis. Okay, so uh, because she she got a BBL and she drive a G wagon, that means she she out of the tax bracket. That's what no. I was just about to say. No. What does material stuff have to do with your tax bracket, though? Because it's the lifestyle that you live, and can that person that you want maintain it? 
that's basically that's what I'm seeing from women. <laughs> if a female was to come to tell you that, that means she don't like you. That's first off. But I mean, but I, I think you should. The materialistic I think you should stay focused. You I mean. do for your tax bracket. You're spending this money. It has nothing to do with your tax bracket. It actually does because you can't get a G wagon unless you have. No, it doesn't. Bottom. You're not. All you gotta have is a good credit score, a down payment, nigga. Well, how do you get? How do you get your credit? Up? Please, nigga. <laughs> how do you get your credit up? You saying that like it's just yeah, a easy that, way to get your credit? Up. Niggas got good credit. What you mean? People that flaunt it like that aren't they usually? They usually don't have it. Come on. And most of America is paycheck to paycheck. So let's be Come honest. Come on, man. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Let's be realistic. The average American yeah. don't have a thousand bands in their account, but they got all this good credit. Stop. So, wait, 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 Stop. Wait, wait, wait. so, so guys, guys can date women. That's not in a tax bracket, but women can't date men. That's in a tax bracket, right? You can do whatever you want. Are you going to get the No, 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 no. I'm want. saying based off of what you're saying. <laughs> Say it again. So guys can date women. That's not in a tax bracket, but women, they can't, this the complete opposite. So women can't subject themselves. It's only maintaining a lifestyle one way. Is that what you're saying? No. What I'm saying is people need to go after what they actually are on both sides. The man, if you're a man and you see this woman that lives a certain lifestyle where you can't afford it, why would you go after her? Because you know she's going to require because something. Because it ain't about money. And any dude, listen, if you him... <laughs> If you him, it doesn't matter how much money you make. You can knock her down all day. I long. agree with that. But all day long. Mary is two different things. Yeah, what do you mean Mary? Mary is two different things. Wait, 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 wait. It all go in the same pot. It don't. It does. No. Who I fuck and who I marry is two different no, things. No, 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 no. When you get married, it's all going. What's yours is mine. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So what? When did it start to become? Listen, it's more. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and get it off. <clears throat> go ahead, y'all. Y'all more than welcome to do it. Don't let me stop y'all. I've I've actually heard more men say they would rather a chick that makes less money or average money than a woman that makes six figures than. Hey, I want to date a chick that makes what I make. I've heard more men on social media say that. So because when it comes to a chick that makes a lot of money, you know, it comes with stuff that they don't want to put up with. Sometimes women like feel what? like they like, like sometimes I hear that women that make a certain amount of money, they're not submissive. They 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 can't really let the man lead. They live a lifestyle where they don't men don't want to live. So I've definitely heard that men don't really. Listen, women care more about the money. I think mm -hmm. that's cap. Most of these I, women I in a decent that. amount of money. Even women that's making a lot of money, they still net negative in their net worth. Come on. So just because you're generating a lot of revenue don't necessarily mean that you're keeping a lot. Right. Like, you know, it, it, listen, listen. Here's the thing. I'm going to say it on this side. I don't think that should they broke women anymore. At you said all. what? They shouldn't do I don't what? think that dude should date broke women anymore. What's broke? Most women are broke though. Who are they gonna right. be dating? <laughs> Correct. I don't think that I don't think that dude should be subjecting themselves. I think it should be the opposite. I think that the women should be trying to measure up to the men and not the other way around. I the mean, problem I is that the problem is that go ahead. I'm sorry. Financially, you think the women should measure up to the men? Yes. hundred percent Absolutely. A hundred percent. Huh? Why? Equality. Because be, no, it ain't got nothing to do. I want equality. I want equality. I want it, equality. It, it's it's not just about equality, but it's more or less about. Well, first of all, you being able to take care of yourself as an adult is just you don't get credit for that. Right. It's called being responsible. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's number one. Like I'm not looking for an anchor uh, at all. And and the problem is that most women go through life not really trying to measure up to the thing that they're looking to attract. So if you listen to a woman, they have all of these high standards. No matter what tax bracket that they're in, no matter how old they are, no matter how young they are, they all looking for the same thing, right? But what qualifies them to be even be able to like like I'll give you an example. Most people don't even know the differences between the types of silverware that they're using. Most people, no, I'm telling you like oh most people, 
Most people don't even know the way in which you're supposed to eat your steak. I can't take you in front, you know, in front well, of well, my, my partners, or I can't take you in a professional <laughs> setting and you to be you be able to communicate effectively and be able to relate to a lot of these people. Well, you're not even used to that. To know that she has to be financially stable, like financially up there. What if she did go to etiquette classes, but she didn't have the finances? She well, can't. Ain't a woman. Ain't a trying, woman. It ain't a woman in 2024 that hadn't been to etiquette classes. Facts. You know. Ain't a woman in Come 2024. Now we just been been the <laughs> Ain't a woman out here. I don't even think it's an etiquette class available anymore. Right. It's more twerking classes than etiquette classes. <laughs> it ain't a woman <laughs> out here that didn't mention an etiquette class. So where are they learning it from? Grandma but ain't I teaching. can say this though. When I was in high school, they actually had classes that taught you Auntie. how to like, you know, eat and sit yourself at a table. And then that they can leave outside. And they go right back to it's just like listen, a lot of people took uh foreign language in high school and can't speak a lick or whatever it is that they Facts. talk. So you know, I just don't I don't think that most women, when you look at it, I don't think that most women measure up to the type of men to the men. I think that men are laughing women 10 times over today. We are a hundred percent. I don't think that women are measuring up to the to the men at all. I think that it's a wide gap between great men. And mediocre women or below average women. Because listen, any woman you can put you can put lipstick on a pig all day long. You could take a woman in the gutter, throw a bunch of makeup on her, dress her up, wash her up, and put some different clothes on her, and then y'all think that that's a presentable standard because she cleaned up. No, it takes a lifetime to be a great man. It takes going through the fire, right? It takes losses. Um, understanding, uh, being able to prove yourself, being great. The measure of a man is much greater as far as what we consider a great man than the measure of a woman. A woman doesn't have to go through anything the way that a man has to go through. So then you have to qualify yourself and say, well, what qualifies her to even be in the presence of that guy? Whereas this guy had to literally prove himself over and over. Even when we identify a high value man, think about it. We say that he has to sustain this level of success in this great for an extended period of time before we qualify him because we got to know whether or not you can keep it. That's why we don't put ath that's why we don't put athletes. That's why we don't put those type of people that get one time paydays in there because we know that athletes five years on average a lot after of they get out of the league are going to be broke. On average they file for bankruptcy. So now when you start to qualify it from that perspective, now we have to raise a standard and say, well, what qualifies that woman to really be in the presence of a guy that's really mastered greatness that's not even going to reach his peak potential from an earning, uh, uh, earning potential until he in his 60s? The, the, the thing about these conversations... I agree. I, 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 I can see stop, it correlate the two. Stop, stop. Is there a delay? Can you not hear me talking? Yeah, I, think, I think he does have a little delay. Um, when we have these conversations, we go to the top of the king dingling man and not like the medium, like most niggas ain't shit niggas. So that's not true. The question is, should more men date within their tax bracket? Yes. If we do that, where are the women going to be at? Do y'all realize that we make more money than the average? The average man makes more money than the average women. So where is all these women that's making all this money? They got G wagons left and right. What, what, like, that is a small they're, they're percentage they're of the population in, in Chicago. Like, come on, man. In Baltimore. Do we not look at statistics to back up what's actually going on in the world? I think we're core to the content and income. We're being able to show off certain things. You understand? Show off. Yeah, we can't really hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you, boss. Yeah, it sounded better with the headphones. What about instead of tax brackets, it's classes almost? like. That's almost the same thing. I know, but is that more um, realistic, I guess, or we can um, identify with it more than, you know, the tax brackets, I guess. I mean, I think people, most people do that anyway, I think. Yeah, most people date within their their age range. It's like, I think the average uh, marriage rate is like uh, five years apart. And then when you look at medium income, it's it's not really that big of a discrepancy. So these, these talking points we be having, it's just... Women that well, live a certain lifestyle of, are afforded a certain lifestyle telling other men and other women, you should do it like this. You should do it like this when it's not realistic. I mean, I think we're just correlating 
income with competence. And a lot of like if you got to be real, it's more likely you probably ain't got a competent job to be. I, I still can't this. hear you, boss. Yeah, your mic is low. Can you turn it up? But it's. Can I don't I know. I think. Now? Okay, try again. Go ahead. Okay, I was saying that we're just correlated competence and income, like uh, just showing off material, material good. You got to be here. You probably don't have a competent job where you have to think and actually use physics like a. Uh, certain skills to get certain things. So I think we're confusing. If you, you can make a, a sale, if you're in sales, you can get a certain amount of money. But if you're an uh, Instagram model, you make probably about the same thing. I was going to correlate the two and say, these are the two tag brackets, so I got a date uh, Instagram model. I don't think those two equate to them. But do you have to look up actual numbers and statistics and understand that more than likely, and you have to understand it's not about the money. Like, it is about, about the money. money. The women tell us it's about the money, fam. Oh, the women yeah, tell yeah. us every day it's about the money they, first. I mean, women say shit all the time, and they do the exact opposite. But I'm how I look at it. I'm not saying I'm looking at it. It's the game between the each. That's the only game I'm looking at. If you only because you say you got money, most of these most companies, most billion dollar companies. Are leverage. They not even. They don't. Uh, most companies don't bring in the money that they say they that they're worth. They they are leverage. This is why they're too big fail. So a lot of people are, or a lot of people on IG showing their worth are leverage. They're probably living off credit, paying twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month, not actually bringing in the money that they're saying. That does not equate to somebody who's actually generating. A net profit of whatever money that is. Well, well let's there's be a clear. different level of games that's being played. If they have a credit card limit of thirty thousand dollars and they're doing pretty well, they don't just give that to anyone. I just okay, I agree with Leon. Like if we did go with that, more men dating within their tax bracket, a lot of chicks would be single, not married. Let's just be honest, okay? Like I, I grant it. If we go based on materialistic items, a lot of this brands that people are wearing are fake. As you said, most of America is paycheck to paycheck. These cars can be rented. Yeah, you can you can get a nice vehicle. Payment's gonna be high as hell if your credit ain't shit. But don't mean you got Thank money. You. <laughs> Thank you. This is the thing. This is why I love statistics, like because it's showing us and it's telling us in real time who's the main who's a big contributor to the debt women but they don't make up enough of the money to spend so it's like you're spending more money than you're making so you're you're putting on a facade to be like yeah i'm living this big lifestyle and this that and that and the third but then when you look at statistics it's like well hold on if the average woman really can't afford to take that trip to Cabo, to take that trip to dubai who's actually oh okay i see so it's a it's all cap it's cap I think it's but because that, of social media. But you only media. talk about a subsect of men who can do that. Like a, a 1%. People who make yeah. Damn. Damn. But it's, it's social, social media. Social media, like, social media are, makes it seem like that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm still here. Go ahead, Ms. K. Um, I was just going to say, social media has given everyone this idea that, you know, everyone can get this trip or, you know, have all of this money because before that, you know, you just saw your town or whatever was, you know, across the street. But now every, all of these people are showing their best. And then you think, OK, well, if they can get it, I can get it, too. And it's it's just a facade. I, I, agree. I, can, I can confirm that motherfuckers are putting their trips on a firm after pay. Come on. I'm from Florida. That's bad County, account, like, Miami, mm -hmm. right down the street. Like, I'm, we see this in Orlando, Tampa. I'm in Jacksonville. Like, this isn't just some social media phenomenon. Like, women are literally, y'all probably have friends who do this. Put it on their credit card and worry about the repercussions later. Come on, now. We can't fact, act like that's fact, not happening. I'm not speaking a woman. Or they have men paying for it. Come on, now. Or they but have I'm men paying for it. If I'm have a woman, I'm not looking at her. Y'all do know sugar daddies are a thing, right? Houston is the number one capital for sugar daddies. 
There's a lot of people out here that has sugar daddies, but don't want to admit it. There's a lot mm -hmm. of women out here that are buying stuff. They are getting stuff and they're not even paying for it because they have a sugar daddy. And what are they doing to get it? They're giving it up. Come on. And sometimes they Most don't even got to give it up. Or, or sometimes they don't have to give it up. Men Talk will send them. them cash apps or, or stuff just randomly. Uh -huh. Yeah, cute. Them not sugar daddies. Them are just simps. But, yeah, but cute that doesn't mean I'm picking a woman. But that, that doesn't mean I'm picking a woman based on her tax break. I'm not, I'm not searching out a woman like who she makes. No, but you I'm say that. Until... Is... Go ahead. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm no. If I'm going, to, I'm not. But it's the innate qualities that bring certain things. I don't give a fuck how much money you bring in. You can be true, ridiculous, true. but if you don't, I don't mean to know how to raise or raise a family or garner certain things for a family to thrive. That See? that has absolutely. That means either one or two things. You're extremely effective at what you do. Or you're extremely lucky at what it is that you can get. It has no, it has no bearing on the type of person. You are. Absolutely, I, I get what he's see, saying. Because see, let's you say, say you guys dated. Sorry, if men dated more chicks in their tax bracket, that means you're going to be more working more. So now, if you're going to date a chick that's making money, she's working more. So who's going to be taking care of the house? Who's going to be helping with the kids? Right. right? You're not going to have my that. man. That man, right? Your name, your name. But, see, but, but see, I agree with Anton, though. I don't think men should be dating in their tax bracket. I think women should be dating in their tax bracket because it's more realistic. Wait, make that make sense. If okay. women should be trying to date nobody, listen, no way. Listen, a man is supposed to date them, in their tax bracket. So listen. make this make sense. If uh, I was making 40K, right, mm -hmm. and I wanted to, you said date in my tax bracket, pretend Quinn is makes 40K. Yeah. But so me and him should date. No pretending. Okay. That should be the ideal base. It has a lot of factors. How old you are. Broke people, need to broke people. Just say that. Broke people need yeah. to be with broke people. And rich people need to be with rich people. That's what it should be then. Yeah, I can agree with that. I mean, that, her money don't mean I don't even understand. That's cat. Hey, you she, have to stop saying If she marries me, her money don't mean nothing. That's bullshit. We live off what? Of That's bullshit. Yeah, but we are together. Like, Once fam. you become married, your no. income is going. Yes, y'all have to stop acting like no, we live in no, this for rich her money it doesn't matter. You are one. It's not a separate fam. thing anymore. You're yeah. married what I'm, now. What I'm, what I'm saying is, is that we're not using her income as a, uh, what is it called? There, there's but gonna it's going to be uh, income. It's income. not her income or your there's income. Active income, income and there's up to Huh? No, there is no more me and her. It's us. Thank no, I get what bro. he's saying though. But a man that makes money, he don't give a he don't care about her pennies. But it's most men don't, don't make money though. I'm not, yeah. What I'm saying is this though. Let me clear up and make sure I, I, uh, Can you turn your mic up a little bit louder? Is because you can't really hear you. That's why. Or can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, I hear you a little better. We'll try. But what I'm saying is obviously our incomes are coming together. But they're different. What are the different avenues that you're using your income for? Both of y'all aren't going to have active income that both are going to be paying bills or doing something. Who's investing? Y'all shouldn't be together. If one person is only going to be, if there's only going to be one person paying bills, why are y'all together? I can but we got to stop acting themselves. like everybody's a millionaire, bro. Like the average American does not make 100K a year. Let's just let's stop uh, this idea that I'm gonna just pay all the bills. I'm gonna be like my that's great granddaddy. Saying. You're not, fam. The average man is not doing that's that. Not, that's not what I'm, I'm not saying. But you I'm legit saying you don't care about your wife's income. Who's let's talk to the average for the family. Both of you. That's all. So yeah, most that's most that's Americans. That's Americans that's so I get both, what both y'all saying. To the rich people standards, oh. they don't care about their wife's income. But most right. of Americans, they need two incomes to, to sustain their household. Exactly. No, no I'm, I'm saying, okay, like, who's the leader in this family? I, I, I can't, I can't understand. Who's the leader in this family? If, if the man. You, you're supposed to, which means you're supposed to be making financial decisions that take the family further, right? You're that right, and that means. Wait a minute, income. hold on, Leon. Let me just say it this way, and that means a man Ooh. takes his wife's money, put it in his bank account, give her the money to pay the bills, and if he decides to give her more money on the side, 
then that's what he does. But Talk at the end of the day, the man should have he should have the responsibility of all the money that comes into the household. Talk your shit. I just said the same thing. That's all I just said. We can't hear you, Yam. Your your audio. I just I just see it there. I, I was just saying there's active active income and like investment income. That's all I said. I never said that we have. What's separate the difference accounts between really active income different. and investing income? There should be just be income. And passive income too. Is that what you're saying? No, it's, it's uh, account one on one. You have different. <laughs> I know there's different levels of income, but what I'm saying is you're talking about there's a passive income and then there's investment income when it comes to a relationship. That's not true. That's it's just one, it's just two separate incomes, whatever they however they get their money, that's fine. But at the end of the day, there's two separate incomes. Let me let me let me let me figure this out real quick. Carrie, what's going on? What's up, Carrie? Hey Anson. Hey, How do you That's feel all. about this, Carrie? I don't really feel anything about it because I don't think it's a real, like, I don't think it's a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, maybe times have just totally changed from back when, but I just don't. It doesn't Niggas just get together. Huh? I said people just I mean, get together and figure it out. Well, well, because even if it even if I thought that men should only date in their tax bracket or women, like how would that really how would you even really do that? Like is that a qualifying question? Is it like you know what I'm saying? Like it just doesn't seem like a realistic it's an unconscious topic. thing. It's, like, it's you, not though like are you out here date? Do you date? Are you married? What are you? Leon. No, I'm single. Like when you date a woman, like what are your conversations like? Like when I first meet a woman, the first thing on my mind is, "Damn, how much money she make?" Obviously, the first thing is like, "Oh, okay, how attractive, how attractive she is, uh, how does she speak to me, how does she communicate, shit like that." That's like the first thing. But after we break through that barrier, now I want to see, okay, is this somebody that I can see myself with decades and decades down the line? Is this somebody that I'm willing to die for? Is this someone I'm willing to protect? So I get what Yam is saying off face value, but once you peel that layer back, that's where the problem seems to be coming from. Hmm. If that answers the question. I do not believe that you're vetting for no wife, bro. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Not right now. Nah, I'll tell you that straight up. But I'm just answering so, this question. So why are, you, why are you going into this whole soliloquy about what it is that she, rest of my life, all of this stuff? Because you ain't thinking me, about that. Cause that's P asked me. You think about that when you're dealing with a chick? My last girlfriend, yeah. Not just like when you single, clearly, cause I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I, I'm out here looking for a wife. Nah, I'm finna get my rocks off. But when I was my last relationship, I did view her as this is somebody that I could potentially be a husband with. So what so, happened? Uh, let's just Hello? say. When that's the answer, nigga. He finna lie. 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 He we had conflicting views on how to raise children. Let's just say it, say it like that. How long y'all dated? No, I was playing stepdad. Ooh. Don't, kill Don't kill me, Anton. Step baby daddy in this bitch. Step baby daddy. <laughs> just relax. I learned my lesson. Oh. I love you, Russell Wilson, down there. I love you all. No, nah, I went. The fuck Russell Wilson. I didn't win future. Never again. You was a you was playing step baby daddy, bro. I was the biggest simp. I ain't even gonna hold you, big dog. Now that I look oh, back, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah it was bad. Yeah, it was. It was. It was bad. I ain't gonna hold. Oh you. my god! How long did you date her for? <laughs> uh, about a year and a half. How many children she got? She just had one. This ain't oh, adding up. So it took you a year and a half to realize you guys have child parent parent differences, co parenting differences. Not a year and a half. I'd say like six months. But when you in it, you thinking, oh, she going to change. And damn, this pussy so good. But 
at the end of the day, you saw it it actively though, because she already had a kid, you know? Yeah. You said what? You already saw it because she already had a kid, you know? How old was the girl? Parenting ways. She was two at the time. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. The child was two and you was with her for a year and a half. So you was with her when the baby came out the womb fresh, basically. No, she was two when I got with her, the baby girl. Oh, okay, okay. That's a baby baby. This is yeah. crazy. Also, so you were birthing the baby and changing diapers? I love that. Yeah, I was doing the daddy, daddy. So there's a discrepancy. <laughs> I love that. No, nah, I don't love it. Stop. So you stop, didn't like stop. what she was raising her kid? Is that what was that the problem? No, nah, he was getting emotionally attached to another man's child. Right. That's what it was. <laughs> Wait, so that's why you ended with her? Because you were getting too attached to the baby? That wasn't yours? This what it was. The way she parented, I didn't I didn't come from that. I came, I got both my parents. I got my grandparents in my life. I have a big family. Wait, so was she, it a girl or a boy? Was it a girl or a boy? It was a girl. Oh, and she, the stuff, and the she stuff definitely that she was said, doing, you ain't my daddy. No, 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 nothing like that. She looked the at baby was two. Let's not get into talking. that. Well, yeah. no, no, no. That's when he met her. Yeah, she was walking and saying little yeah, words. Yeah, three, 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 three little words. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so wait, was the baby calling you Dada? Because those on years yeah. when the baby said Dada. So yeah. what? So, uh, what was she doing? Like, what about her parenting oh, style was not? God. Did you not like? Called another man died. I didn't Not like how she I didn't like how she necessarily handled her. Like she in what way? This dude was attached to another man's child. That Let was me see how I, could, I don't want to like make it seem worse than what it was, but she was just she wasn't a good mom to be honest. Like, mm, like she wasn't different. let's just I want to stick to like stuff that I don't want to out her with, but the way she dressed her, it was very inappropriate. I'm talking crop tops and look like the the uh that's like cute that ain't no 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 like no cute. no quick I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about grown women you shouldn't dress your daughter like that this. yeah you and can't put you a two-year-old the, in that the full okay, okay. Like, like, you probably was dressed clear. like that i'm just like don't matter clear. If, if you're putting a hold on wait, 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 wait. no i gotta wait, get this out if you're dressing a two-year-old like that it's her size so someone's wearing them like but it doesn't hold on, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They got a crop top and two T, nigga. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what you mean? That's y'all, not y'all skipping over. <laughs> y'all skipping that's, over a huge that's issue. That's not appropriate. That's not appropriate. How how is the how is she any the way that she's dressing a child is a reflection of her. Correct. And so and so if you can't identify that, yeah, that was on me. Was, let me tell you. Let me tell you what he was. He was smitten by the box. That's it. Facts. He I got disagree. smitten by the box, and then he started playing step baby daddy, and he got emotionally attached. Listen, bro. This go. Go, I, look, look, look. God bless you, but let me say something. This goes against everything that you was just saying. Right. All of this vetting stuff that you was just preaching. Y'all don't look past the box. I agree with you on that. I ain't got nothing to say to you about that. Jesus Christ. It just took him a year and a half to figure out. (sighs) Hey, man, it is what it is. I ain't going to lie to you about it. Did you meet her her baby daddy? (sighs) No. I fought him, though. (laughs) Well, I guess you can can say I met him, man. (laughs) (laughs) You fought the baby daddy? Listen. When you come up to somebody property banging on their door, first of all, I don't even know how you how what's you his got child in what's his child in your house? Yes, this was we was oh, living yeah. together. He was fighting, he was fighting another man. Hold on, he was fighting another man over seeing his child. <laughs> A child that's not even his. Nah, it wasn't even that. It was just the way he came, he was like, Yeah, what? Where my baby at? Who is this nigga? I'm like, wait, hold on, bro. Who is I, you? I, I I've done that before. I've done that before. What are you yeah. talking about? Hey, he oh probably won't God. never do that again. <laughs> Put it like that. Y'all yeah. was fighting. You was fighting this nigga over his own child. Not even. I was fighting him because he disrespected me as a man. You can have nah, your child, nigga. bro. No, nah, no. Nah. ain't got nothing to do with me. No, nah, nah. come at me like I'm a bitch. <laughs> this is crazy. Do y'all hear this? It is crazy. You know, have you seen that story? This happened and the 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 stepfather shot the guy that came up on the porch. I don't know if y'all yeah. saw that clip. It was two white guys. So that's crazy. Y'all was ready to crash out over, over another. He was, 
Not Leo even. It wasn't like, about the child, though. He directly disrespected me. Because you I wouldn't let him see his child. No, because you're banging on my door and I don't know who you are. He, he you kind of started the with the child because if it was no child, he wouldn't be there. Uh -uh, I agree. Uh -uh, who was the disrespect? Uh -uh. The disrespect is you banging on my door. That's not disrespectful. You... Police oh, wait, do that. They, police ahead, 100% Leon. do that. <laughs> so, you said you were out there. So y'all was out there. So was out was out there. Did y'all fight inside the house? Did y'all fight outside the house? So y'all like, you win? <laughs> there was in the yard. Yes, I won. So people oh, fight. Oh, we don't know so that. We don't know that. We don't oh, know wait, that. Leon, he hey, came, he I'm verified. Came. <laughs> he came so in your door. Hold on, hold on. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Think picture this. Picture this. The mama is sitting in there watching two yeah. two, two, two the step right. step right. baby daddy Be and the original daddy. And they rolling around in the grass on the front yard in front of the neighbors. And she got gold. Oh, ain't no rolling yeah. around. No, it's more like I'm goldfish. I'm, <laughs> I'm also, I'm also Eating fruit snacks in my things, face. <laughs> I'm listening to the things that you're blaming on him. And I'll be honest, it reminds me of back in the day when you see two girls fighting over a guy. And oh, yeah. Yeah, she just called you a bitch. You gonna hit no, her? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Karen. <laughs> I'm not. Jesus Christ. I'm not. What it, you said? It, it, no, it just reminds me of that. And then you said, I don't know how he got my address. He came to my house banging on my door. This is my first encounter. And I'm I have yet to hear you put anything on her. Like you know how he knew where you live from her. <laughs> but that's what I was getting ready to say, but everybody started her. talking. Huh? I was getting ready to explain that, but everybody just started joking, and then Anti just took it to the well, next that, level. That's reasonable that a, a a dad would know where his child is staying. That's not unreasonable. it's reasonable, but I don't know who this person is. This is my first encounter. You don't is know it, who you are either. And you're around his kid. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. That's something you got to take not, up with God. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Why are you checking him? Why you ain't check her? <clears throat> because this is. This is happening in real time. This is like a boom, 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 boom. Now, in between that, I'm like, bitch, who this is? Da, 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 da. Ooh, so it, it ain't just like I'm focusing on him. It's like a back and forth call and answer. It was, it's a whole bad situation. Never again. Never again. Not because being a step he got dad. your address he, from he her. Exactly. He, he, he got my address house. from her. Were they still messing did he around? Come to your house? Yes, they was. That's the baby daddy. That's the baby daddy. That's what I'm hold saying. On, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Let's yeah, just let's stop get real it. quick. Let's hold just on. unravel you, all of it. How, how you know that she was still messing around with him? Because you know, after everything ends, you know, the hateful text start, you know, when you <laughs> break up and all that. It's like, that's why uh, da, 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 my baby daddy, he was doing this and that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take it on the 10. I was a simp. I'll take so that. So wait, out. wait, 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 wait. Q, can you finally admit that I'm right? That no way. I've been saying this for years, and I said it recently, just the other a couple shows ago. I said, listen, if that's his, if that's the baby daddy, he always gonna have access to her. Always. And so it doesn't make sense for a woman to then have a step baby daddy come in because you always going to have access to her forever and you never going to unsee dog the way he got her pregnant was way, was way different than the what was she giving you he taught her everything that you're doing facts you no know, no no don't shake your head Carrie. he taught her what you <laughs> that think that she had you think that she had that you know what she said when he was getting her pregnant <laughs> you, you know what you were saying when he was getting her pregnant? What you you thought you thought the day was just like it was a oops, it was just a mistake or something? No. He absolutely he destroyed her. He made look, and not only did he make her the woman that she is today for you, you gonna take care of his kid on top of it. The kid still gonna love him, and the kid had to grow inside of her belly and come out like aliens, and then you know, no, it listen. Half the time they gotta nowadays they slice some women open on a regular basis. They're not even letting you have regular births no more. You having a C section, yeah. and and they and that baby gonna come out and it look just like him. 
And then when you go back in there after y'all get done tussling in the, in the front yard and you come in and you look at the, who you calling your daughter, that's him. That's him. You looking at him. All her mannerisms is him. The DNA is him. Everything. All inherited is him. And you and you out there crashing out. And she, all of the stuff that she doing to you, she got, he taught her. Right. Never again. You know, all, all of them gag reflexes she got. The, mm, chill. Hold on. You just gave every, me ev No, everything. Like, oh, the fact that her, the, now that her jaws don't hurt because she not a hold of a certain way. That's, <laughs> that's them. Oh, my God. Bubbles and, oh, Lord. That's all him. That's all him. This is ridiculous. Every time Never you again. kiss her, every Next time you question. kiss her, every time you kiss her, you kiss him. Hey, come on, man. Next question. Come on. No, no, no. That's a real. That's a real thing. Listen. Every time you kiss her, no matter what part of her body you kissing, he been there. He laid all over her every single night. He put his leg on her, and he was all on her back. And shit. <laughs> you know what he you know what she said crap dog dog Bro, you laying it on real thick right now no i'm just I trying to help y'all understand though. what y'all getting yourself into you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you said, daddy you just left yeah, that to the end it's crazy i watch airtime all the time but yeah, I, when, as soon as this subject was coming up i was like yeah let's go ahead and get this over with knock this Man, out crazy. <laughs> it's crazy you're not gonna want no girl after me that's everything, crazy. everything, they, belly button, ears, everything. This I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm imprinting on everything. Lit? <laughs> no, I ain't say my tongue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything, everything. I'm going to imprint on her and then I'm going to give her to you. You can have her back. She yours. Because it wasn't ours, it was just my turn. That's what he said to you. Oh man. And then he and then he came over there and he fought for his kid because he, he loved his ass. He fought for her. Oh girl. <laughs> can I That's can crazy. I ask who won? I won. Men don't say they lose who a fight. Won? Who won? No, her? I'll tell you if I lost. <laughs> who, who got her last? <laughs> Uh, probably, I don't know. Shit. Yeah, you know, nigga. I mean, if you want to say him, then I guess, but I don't know what the whole doing now. She probably be do in the you hole. Still, do you still communicate with the baby? No. Like, do you say no, him? No, no, or... no, 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 no. That's done. Um, Out. Vito. I'm sorry to hear that. He still, think, yeah. he still think about it, though. You still nah, think about it? You still miss the child? You still miss no, the you, do you know that when no. that kid grow up and if they ever no. see you again, they're going to call you uncle? I don't know who, who it unhand me. Who are police? The child called you daddy. Don't do that. That child was four years old, okay? Let's kids relax. get conditioned so, through three to five. That's good conditioning years. That baby will always remember so real, you. Uh, yeah. uh, honest, uh, honest Not question. Problem. So did this change your paradigm the way you was looking at chicks at their tax bracket? Is that like what changed your mind to look like how much money she nah. made? No, nah, not at all. Okay. That made me stop messing with single mothers for sure, for sure. But nah, not the whole uh dynamic. Okay. Yo, Uncle she Lee. She was in your tax bracket. Oh, I'm gonna call you Uncle Lee from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even that old to be called Uncle Lee, man. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You That's that baby, crazy. you that baby step happy. No, I ain't. The devil is a lie. Nah, Who's you was baby gonna pass is this? It ain't mine. Bro, listen, think about what you said right before you told us all of this story. You told us you was evaluating this woman as the love of your life for the person. I did that not see that's you I did. Not you said like you that. said you said. See, I got a great memory. You said that you was thinking of this woman. Man, can I spend the rest of my life with her and all of this? Mm. Don't look up. Mm. That's crazy. That is crazy. Y'all not vetting the same way. Y'all just be y'all. Y'all just be talking. I was too deep into it. I was way too deep. I'm speaking on my perspective now. Back then, nah, I was too deep into it. I ain't even gonna hold you. Jesus. When the last time you talked to her? When we broke up. No, 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 I'm cap. When she sent me that long, uh, it was a long message and we was going back and forth. So I'll say about, mm, about a year. A year ago this happened? Yeah, I'm talking about like e text, 
Instagram, all that, like any communication, cut all that off. That's out of there. Oh, so it's mm. fresh. Okay. A mm. year is fresh. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, we can move on now. <laughs> yeah. <I see. laughs> Next topic. Jesus, that's a lot. But Simp Lives Matter. Thank you, everybody that's in the chat. Shout out to all the simps in the chat, people that send super chats. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Let me read these comments real quick. A lot of my them. So I can see. Okay. Anton, do you think one of the biggest problems is that we ignore the nature of men and women in favor of our ideal view of men and women? No, I think that the, the biggest problem is that we've been retrained to think like women instead of operating in our masculinity because it's not enough fathers that's still in the home. I think that that's the biggest problem. Hmm. Okay. If she has a BBL, G-Wagon, and an ATL, she's scamming. Mm -hmm. Is Leon from Jacksonville? Represent the city correctly, bro. What side of town you from? What hood you from? Ghetto. North side. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I think I'll click one. Nice to see Coach K. It's Leon too K. late. It's too late for the representation, y'all. Jacksonville, hold this L. Yeah, it's too late now. They said that. They said that the Jacksonville, they said that the hold this L. Yeah, they said to the beginning of the stream before he started talking about yeah fighting. There's the a baby. chick I was dating in Jacksonville, and she got the fuck out because they the men were trash. Uh, okay, Leon can't be from Jacksonville, Florida. Got to be Jacksonville, Mississippi, shaking my head. <laughs> what it's kind Jackson, of grown man name is Yam? It says this, that, and the third, Duvel slang. Uh, men don't want a successful woman because she does not have to put up with the BS. She has the money to leave and start over without an issue. A broke woman is going to stay because he, he paying a bill or two. That's a fact. Ari, stop acting all toughy wuffy. <laughs> um, that's a bruiser, long time no see. Man, what the F is he talking about? Man, what in the ASS? Um, he's still a simp. He's talking about the P being good to compromise. <laughs> Shout out to Bruiser. Lord, this investigation will be another 30 minutes. No, nope, I got two good questions, y'all. <laughs> he didn't look past the box. He ate the box. Low. wait. What the F, Anton? He fought the damn baby daddy. Laughing my ass off. This man is Lamar Silas. Shaking my head. <laughs> Trademark step baby daddy. He needs a shirt. Um, I know he said too much. <laughs> Is that the one Yam from the Pineapple Show? Yam, you been on the Pineapple Show? Yes or no answer, nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's that? Did you go on the Pineapple Show? Uh, yeah, like once or twice. Once or twice? Nigga. Wait a minute. I've seen the pineapple show a couple times. How the heck you got on there twice? Oh, that's easy. You just got you just gotta you just gotta call and she you just gotta call and she right. pull you up from the back. It's a dating show, right? Right? It's like any other you show. You, you you hit the link and she pulled you up. But it's a right. dating show. So you didn't go on there one wild time. Boy on there. It's a it's a it's a soft dating show. It's not really a dating show. Y'all some yeah. wild boys tonight, boy. These are your fans don't talk about these men like that. What so you we mean? Got a, we, we, got, we got a two time pineapple show guy and a dude <laughs> fighting a baby daddy. So okay, uh -huh. let's go. Anton using this all night now, buddy. <laughs> okay. Leon, we gonna go for a drink when I come back to the city. You need it, bro. Okay. Facts. Anton, you put too much stock in a woman being untouched by another man, bro. Who cares if she's been with a couple brothers before me? If she's good to me, so what? Facts, Anton, that's a virgin saving myself for marriage. That's why it's hard for me to see myself with another someone that's not out of, that's a non-virgin. I don't want all the drama. Well, good luck finding all virgin, buddy. If you're a virgin, Bye. dude, you deserve a virgin woman 1,000%. Yep, y'all can be virgins together. I agree 100%. Yeah. But not the other mm -hmm. way around. Yeah. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Thank you for the people that sent the super chats. Hit the like for the algorithm. Shout out to the people that's on the panel. I think the, the, the more deeper we get into this, the more information comes out about the panel. <laughs> Woo! You're next, Kenya. We don't know a lot about you. No, I'm just kidding. But let's get to the next video. Can friends... Okay, before we get to this video, do you think that P 
people of the opposite sex with your, let's say if y'all are married, can they have opposite sex friends? Carrie, yes or no? Quick answers. Quinn. Yes. Coach K. Yes. Alex. Yes. Yam. <laughs> Get in, Todd. <laughs> Alex, you broke his heart. You just broke his heart. <laughs> no, listen to Anton. Don't, don't. Get proceed. What about you, Yam? Could your wife have uh, <laughs> men as friends? <laughs> yeah, it's a yes or no question, nigga. I think you're on a delay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he said, yeah. Okay, we couldn't hear you. Ari? Mm-mm. Okay, Leon? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Leon <laughs> learned from the last relationship. That's why, Kenya? Mm-mm. No. Okay. Okay. Good, good answer, I think. Let's let's watch this little video, then we're going <laughs> to talk about it. I don't want to date a man that doesn't have any female friendships. Bingo. I, I don't want to date a man who only gets input from other men and who it has all women in two categories, your mother or your aunties or someone I want to sleep with. You have to have a broader spectrum on women and their value in your life if you're going to be with me. Totally. Well, first off, only getting information and opinions from other men sounds terrifying. Um, terrifying. So I, I encourage that to not be what anybody does ever, but you're totally right because the more we keep talking about can you have friends of the opposite sex, the more you start feeling like everybody is like primal animals in a zoo. You literally cannot physically be around someone of the opposite sex without just like your clothes coming off. Damn, Q. <laughs> I think you have it comes down to like sex. if they were friends before you met, then good. But you don't need to be getting no new friends. I ain't down with no new friends. You look so much like Joy Taylor. Oh God, she looks so much <laughs> like Joy Taylor. No, I tell she's, her she's very time. pretty, and she's like three shades lighter than me. No, she's very pretty. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Hey Joy, if you're watching. I think we got to define a, what a friend if is. If you look at my um, Instagram DM, she DM me back. <laughs> about he what? what you, he lying. He wish he did. Coping, about coming on the show. Cow. You are <laughs> lying. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually sign her DM. Anton was about to give me a raise. <laughs> he said, you said, you said what? Give, <laughs> you said what? <laughs> I'm going to sign her. She'll be, women will be more receptive of women in their DMs than men. But I think when we say friend, no, we're talking they about always respond. every time I do. Yeah, if I they do always respond. Every time. And men too. But I think that when we say friend, we're not talking about an ex. We're not talking about y'all had a sexual past or sexual chemistry. So we're talking about a friend, real friend. That's what we meant yeah. by friend, Leon. So <laughs> my question would be, can you still be friends with somebody that you are sexually attracted to? No. And that no. would answer... And I can can I just get a quick yes or no from the panel? That'll really tell me where this conversation gonna go. No, they block. I say no. Okay, so with that being said, I think we take associates and friendship and we combine it too much. For instance, my mother and my father, they have friends of the other sex, but it's people that they've grown up with since <laughs> elementary school. They went to college together. They uh they are sororities. My mama's an AKA, so like it's mm-hmm. like it's. I don't think associates and friendships are are the same thing. I think with married couples, I think more times than not, whoever your spouse's friends are, you kind of like those are your associates, and then you got your own subsection of your actual friends. Any man that y'all think is your friend for real, if you try to give him some pussy, he take it. Take it. That ain't your friend. <laughs> He just, buy, he just buy your husband, Carrie. Your husband die tomorrow. God forbid. Knock on wood. His homeboy is gonna be right there. It's gonna be all right, Carrie. It's gonna be all right. And they'll do it months, years, even a decade. But the moment you slip up and show an inch of vulnerability, and you think, well, he's been such a good homeboy. His homeboy died. Maybe I could, maybe he would agree with this. He got you. That ain't no okay, friend. so all right, wait, wait, wait. So let's back that up then. <laughs> but would you but would you bust down your homeboy's chick if it, if he passed away? No. What makes what? you the exception? <laughs> what do you mean? That's it like, would be your reasonable you you literally, take care of her. Literally just describe 
You just you said, said that men would do. Yeah, that don't mean I would do it. Don't. But why do you think other men would do it? Because they have. Just because I won't do something or I haven't done it doesn't mean somebody else has it. Just because I don't do it. Well, I hope that ain't none of your friends. So, so you slip this and it's what's going on right now. But that's like saying just because other people have killed people, all of us can do it. We're capable. So y'all, but... so what y'all tell, wait, wait, wait. So y'all telling me y'all don't know a single person that has fucked on we didn't say their supposed that. friend. Come on now. No, Let's be they, they have. But that doesn't mean that I believe in my male friends will do it. It Just because you don't tango. believe it doesn't mean it's not true. But, it but I'm pretty tango. sure though, Q, they've showed you signs of <clears throat> yeah. they showed you signs of, you know, oh, I want to fuck her, but they don't actually tell you they want to fuck you. They right. show nigga, you Come on. Because I've had male friends in my life where right I now. know they wanted to have sex with me. I know they wanted a relationship with me, but I did not, I didn't even let it get that far. How do you know that? That they well, tell you that? They wouldn't be because saying no. You but can are those the, the only kind of? But are those yeah. the only male friends you have, though? You only so, know, well, I don't have. Time. I wouldn't yeah. consider them friends. I grew They're up with. Friends. If a man, so wait, 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 Y'all don't know every woman on the panel. Y'all don't know when a guy want to want to fuck y'all. We do. Yes, but we're not talking. That's not. Q already said that's not what we're considering a friend here. Like you don't yeah. have male friends that you didn't. But wait, that wait. They didn't once y'all know, once y'all know that they want to fuck, if you give them an opportunity, are they still friends? If no, once y'all cross that boundary of doing something, even no, if I didn't say they did nothing. I said that you know that they would or they want then, to. Then they're, they're not my friend. I don't. I'm sorry. That's disrespectful to my partner. Right. Like no. Wait, you, wait, wait. Okay, that's you. Once y'all know, if y'all know that a guy is interested in that way, and y'all for every woman on this panel, are y'all telling me that y'all then divest yourselves as friends from that person? It's yes. over. Cap. I've done it. I've never I've had it. to do it, but I was confused. I'm, no, I'm trying. I'm. I'm trying to think if Alexandra is not even exactly. moving. She's just keeping her poker face on. I can't even look at the man the same. <laughs> I think every guy want would probably be willing to do that if that chick gave him the chance. But there's also the guys who are. Uh, they're not afraid to express how attracted they are to you and how they want to do things with you. And those are the ones that got to go. That's disrespectful to me in my relationship and to my husband, yeah. you know, but I think she does make a good point in, in the terms of guys, you know, you don't, you can't control yourselves. So, you know, being in a room with a, a female, I think guys can, but I still think there is <laughs> something inherent that they are attracted to someone of the opposite sex. So we can we can think someone looks handsome and not want to do nothing with them. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why that's why I'm confused because when you say there's an interest or there's a sign of that, what are like he's trying to sleep with her or he there's an attraction there like I, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying you to confused. You're you not confused though. Like, no, let's I, be, let's be I honest. Because when I think of all of my male friends, there wasn't. Then, then for me, it would be no, because there was no moment where it was about to get serious. Or no, I didn't say that it would. I'm saying, but if you know that is that that's what they would do, would you still be friends with them? No, <clears throat> no. Because let let's say let's say if. No, because my mind gonna take it somewhere else. Like, what you I mean? Say no. I'm gonna take it somewhere else. Like, if you're my friend, like we're just friends. And if you see me in that type of way, you want to get with me on that type of level. In my mind, I know you're gonna try to pull a move on me in some type of way, and we don't need to be friends. Whoa, wait, 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 Q, Q, Q. I, you I'm can't cute. control yourself. No, okay. listen, Q, Q. Let's let's put it in perspective. If y'all two, if you both of y'all are single people or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Why why are you divesting yourself from this person just because they may have an attraction to you? 
attraction in a sexual manner, then I'm going to overthink stuff. Oh, I can't even give this man a hug because he might think something of it. He might be like, oh, she smells so good. You see oh, how crazy no. Q is? You see how crazy I, Q is? It's just a, it's a, a thin line. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm good on that. I, I don't even call a lot of people friends. So it's not it's mutual. Like, yeah. But it's not nobody mutual. said that he crossed the line. But you, you, but if he have a level of interest that automatically means so if he's single and you single, and then he have a level of interest, but he only keep it on a friendship level, you telling me that you got to completely divest yourself from me? Yeah, I gotta. This is myself completely. I'm good. Okay, on that. well, let me ask this question then. If you had a male friend that said, I feel this way about you, but they don't take it no further, you guys have a conversation, you have an understanding, would you still be friends with him? No, it would never be the same. Our but see, Q, listen, listen, Q is not answering it. The hypothetical is that both of y'all are single, meaning okay, it's yeah. not like, and meaning it like it's not like he's disrespecting your relationship or something. No, like that, I get right? that. I get that. If I'm single and he's a friend, he's just a friend in my eyes, and he says, "Hey, I want to take this further. I've been, I want, I see you more." No, that's not what he said. Okay, that's what not he what he said. said. What he just say? you just know that it's a level of attraction that he may have, but he he just doesn't necessarily cross that line because he just he chilling, he ain't tripping off of that. Attraction you telling me that's the guy way? that you got it, huh? Attraction in what way? I know I'm a pretty person, but attraction in what way? What do you mean attraction in what way? Well, how does it what manifest? Do like what attraction? Like I said, what? I just described it. <clears throat> Y'all both single. He don't he don't cross no lines. Which mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't necessarily agree with any of this. I'm just painting a picture to just see what, where you, how y'all mind is. But he just don't cross the line. He's just chilling. He don't necessarily say that, oh, man, we need to get together or anything like that. But okay. you know what I'm saying? It's it's about. I guess the reason why I'm saying this is that I'm trying to understand if y'all friends, and I'm saying this in a general sense to all women, mm -hmm. why do y'all not show interest in the person that actually has your best interest at heart? Like the person that's your friend is the person that y'all probably should get with instead of the person that y'all don't look at as a friend that he don't necessarily even know you or give a fuck about you, but you're willing to get to know this person, but you already know this person and you know who they are and you know they sentiment and they're good enough for you to be friends with, but they're not good enough for you to actually consider a relationship with if you single. That's, I don't understand that shit. Because they're fair. That's the person that actually had your back the most. They're not sexually attracted to him. They my friend, care. my friend on this panel said her pheromones to them. That's why the friend zone is a thing. <laughs> but but that's my point is that if the, per the person that's probably best for y'all, for women in general, mm -hmm. is the person that is their friend. It's the person that right. had a back. It's the person that exercised a level of discipline. It's the person that actually listened to you, can understand who you are. But then they want to go out with a person that they don't know, and then they go through all of the shenanigans and the charades and shit and they don't even okay so oh i want to fuck you they tell you in the first date or whatever and they tell you what they're really about but then y'all get that motherfucker a chance but the dude that actually got your best interest at art that had your back when you going through shit y'all look at them as a leper and oh my That's god you, know, not used to you show any attention to me that i'm blocking you that shit is weird to me mm, they're not used to that point. i had a conversation with somebody yesterday and they were saying that we sometimes get into relationships that we're used to. So there could be a whole good man out here waiting to marry her, ready to give her whatever she wants, but she's used to a bum. So she's going to stick with that bum. She's used to that. She's familiar. I don't with understand y'all. I just don't understand why y'all would, why y'all get away from the guy that's best for you and then give a chance to the guy that don't even have no kind of time in with you. Why does having a male friend mean that he's the one who was best for you? Because he knows I, said, no, I, said, I didn't say he was best. I said y'all don't even give a chance. Y'all said, not everybody, Q, for example, said that she would completely get the fuck out of that dodge and block that motherfucker if he, if he ever expressed any kind of interest towards her. Well, my situation is a little different. I only have two male friends. It's you and the other guy I've known since college. But, I'm, but the thing is, the I'm, thing I'm is, I'm being... it's a hypothetical. Okay, but hypothetically i can't think of that because i don't really want more male friends i'm good on that so it's i can't really think of that the male friend that i have now i don't need i don't talk to him every day this guy i dated his fraternity brother so we that's a line we would never but even cross. women in general think like that and i don't understand that 
Well, because they're not, they don't like their friend. They don't like that friend. That's usually why. They don't like their friend. They're not attractive or they just don't want them. That's what it yes, is. Why are you speaking to, zone? are you speaking to what Kevin, kind of what Kevin Samuels said that most girls or women are overlooking the guys that are best for them because they're in their friend zone? They are. They're 100%. 100% of the time. Which I could see that. Uh, one, of my, one of my friends told me I was the only male in her 42 years that's never broke her heart. And they'll keep you right there. But she said her pheromones <laughs> are going to match up with mine. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> my, that's I, I don't crazy. understand it. I just don't understand it. I don't know. Maybe they that's don't like weird. the person. But you know what it is? The less that you give a fuck about them, the more that they like you. Like, yep. and I'm, I'm talking to guys. The less that you care about that woman and what the fuck she think, the more they throw themselves at you. Right. The more you sit there and show them aff affection and love and admonition and you complimenting them, bro, you going, you going down. You going down. You a sucker. The more that you show love and affection, the less they care. And the, and, and, and the, the more you show here? love and affection, the I'm more they're going to friend zone friends. you. The minute that you don't show, a, a listen, diss the fuck out of her. Don't pay her no attention. Don't look at her. Don't care about what she look like. Don't compliment her. Listen, the minute that you start complimenting her, and, and I'm talking about in real life. I ain't talking about this online shit. The okay. minute that you start complimenting her, the minute you start showing all that extra attention, it's over. It's over. There, but there's something about like I have a friend. I slept with her before we were friends. It's not your friend. Then, then, then we became friends, and that's, that's not. not I won't. I won't sleep with her anymore. Like it would be. Weird not so that's not your friend, bro. Okay. You can't. That's a girl fuck you had sex with. That's who she is. <laughs> that's one yeah. of your hoes. Like stop. <laughs> She's oh, yeah, so Quinn, friend. this is a good thing for Quinn because Quinn has those friends that he's had sex with, but they're friends, and he'll lay in bed and not do nothing with them. That's, that's just Brandon. <laughs> Quinn like, just Brandon. That's weird. weird. To me, that if a guy ever said, oh, no. Well, okay, I'm that that, that was a girl that I've had sex with. What? That's we not saw, right. No, listen, oh, listen. I have, to, I have to give some context of that happened. We were, I was in Topeka. And she was in Kansas City, and we do that little find my iPhone thing where we can see where she each other is. And she's like, "Hey, oh, you're you right down." You giving so these your location? Girl? Yeah. Hold on, let him, hold on, let him, let him finish. Let him finish. So she she was like, "Dang, why are you in Topeka? You're an hour away." And I was like, I "Had a race." And then she just she's like, "I haven't seen you in like two years. Come hang out." And we hung out and we chopped it up. We haven't seen each other in a while, and we slept in the same bed on opposite ends of the bed. No fucking way. I didn't want to drive back to Topeka. <laughs> like, what you mean? No and way. And th that is when I say a man shouldn't have opposite sex friends. Once you have a history of sexualness or stuff like we that. We were in a hotel no. bedroom together and didn't do nothing. No, I'm talking about the other girls that you slept with that y'all are friends now. I, this is the same person. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's weird. So, you, so wait, wait, wait. You slept in a bed, dick hard. My my penis wasn't hard, so she wasn't cute. I don't Apparently not. Did, oh, she, did she did she get did she have on some night clothes? What she have on? That moo moo. Um, <laughs> normal girl stuff. That moo moo. I'm telling Underwear. you, normal girl stuff. Is sleep <laughs> Bro, underwear. if she if she got in the bed with you, she wanted you to. Yeah. Uh, to yeah. Did she have a butt facing you when she got in the bed? And she drove there. Come she on, no. Scoot over. <laughs> Bro, you she she wanted it. You just fumbled. She hit no, me no, no. Why would she drive there just to lay in the bed? Because it's Come my on. friend, and I haven't seen her in a long time. Why she didn't go back to her spot? She was she was on an overnight. That she don't live there. Oh, she definitely wanted. What something. the heck is an overnight? <laughs> she no, ladies, no. were you uh, laying in bed with your friend? You no. Said what? I said, ladies on the panel, would you lay in bed with your friend? No, I don't well, even lay in bed with girls. I'm getting my own room. Sorry. Right. This is well, I say this. High school days, maybe. I had a gay best friend. We laid in the bed that together. Was he, don't gay? No he was gay. He, he don't want no pussy. That old He was gay. <laughs> I picked him up and dropped him off to all of his plays. He was gay for sure. No, he not. I hooked him up with, him with a couple men. <laughs> 
he wasn't trying to female. So I was like, hmm, maybe you like me. And that's what happened. So, I mean, but I mean, now, no. Why would I lay in the bed with a friend? I would live with my man or my daughter or my dog. Hey, Coach K. Oh, you let your dog lay in the bed with you? I'm just saying in general. Hey, Coach K, the only, the only dude and female I know that were friends and laid in the bed together is my cousin and his wife. Three years now, so all that hey, laying and cuddling. Wait, 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 wait. Your cousin and who? My head hurt. My cousin <laughs> and his wife. Fun. Right, that's what I'm getting to. My cousin, at the time before he married his wife, they were best friends, and he swore up and down for. Are oh, you saying years. that they wound up getting together? Okay. Yeah, they okay. wound up getting married. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm we yeah. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> All right, never mind. Now go ahead. No, I'm not talking about you. Uh, you said enough tonight, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. I'm I'm giving you rope, a whole bunch of it. But I I don't um I don't know. Listen, even the Neve dude or girl, whatever you want to call it, he said that he buzzed down some of his chick, the chick friends. So y'all can talk that. Oh man. Listen, I don't believe that shit. You say that gay best friend stuff if you want to. Mm -mm. Well, maybe he just wasn't attracted to me then. May okay. Well, Dang. Maybe that's it. But in and the I general kind of sense, okay I don't, people, I don't trust none of these A lot of people dudes. are not okay with admitting that they're not attractive to certain people, and that's kind of dumb to me. If I'm not attractive to somebody, I'm okay with that. Yeah, Why wouldn't you. you be okay with it? You'd be surprised. Anyway. Who, well, who else said that, friends? Oh, Alex, you said you wouldn't. No, Alex agreed. Who else said they wouldn't want their spouse to have the opposite sex friend? Was it you, Kenya? Yep. Wow. What's the point? I'm your friend. And then going back to the video where they was talking about, oh, you need to expand how you feel about me through other than your mom and your aunts. Like, I still don't see why do I need somebody outside of your aunts to... Feel like how you feel about me. It's, I don't feel like it's just not necessary. I just feel like it's not necessary. Like why? Like whatever you need to know about me, you can know from me. Mm -hmm. What is the extra woman gonna tell you about me? It's just not necessary. So uh, I do know though that most of the women, well, yeah, practically almost most of the women that I've ever had as a friend. I could have fucked if I wanted to. So, see, see, no, nah, seriously. I mean, I could have if I wanted to. You know what I'm so saying? So they're not friends like, then. No, nah, I said I could have if I wanted to. I didn't. I wasn't. It wasn't about that. So, it's, yeah, it's but bigger, did they throw themselves at you? Huh? Did they throw themselves at you to make you think that you could? Because if they did, that's not a friend. Like, they probably. It's done. not that they did that. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not even going. To, I'm not even going down that path. The point but of the matter. They? The point of the matter. The fact they of the did. matter is. No, that's not true. The fact of the matter is. Everybody knows. Like, guys know. Girls know what it is. If it's something. There's no mm -hmm. misunderstanding. There's no misconception. It just is what it is. So, so if one of your friends did throw themselves at you, Anton, mm -hmm. you deny them. Are they still considered a friend? I don't. I don't really have no friends. <laughs> that was it's, it's a hypothetical. Hypothetical, like you be throwing. See, Anton be throwing out hypotheticals, but then he don't want to answer hypotheticals. It's a hypothetical. No, no, no. I'll, I'll answer your hypothetical, but I also know that um, it's different for me. I'm I'm just in a different situation. So. Okay, so answer my question. If a hypothetical Jane Smith comes by, you've known her since since high school. She throws herself at you, and you deny her. Is she still considered a friend? Yes or no? That's yeah, the little homie. No, no, no. Heck no. no, that's the little homie. Mm -mm. See, and that's I'm telling. I'm telling. That's the oh, little no, homie. I'm, I'm talking about that. No, because I just know that some women are very conniving and sneaky, and the fact that she's thrown herself at a married man 
Girl, you ain't got no respect for Anton or Rita. She gotta be done. It's like not, she it's not about her. that. Q, you lose you losing sight of things. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's not about her throwing herself at her friend that's married that she's known for years. It's not about that. It's not about that. Boy, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. It's Girl. not. But yeah. what is it about then? If it's not about that, what is it about? Yeah. I'm like the woman whisperer. I understand her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. One of one of the things that God has blessed me with, with is well, a couple of things: the ability to make money and the, and the ability to understand women. And I just do. I understand women. But and what so, does that have to do with that, though? Like you can make money with it means other women. That I'm, I may be in a unique situation that allows for me to be able to look at it a little bit differently, other than you know, than a lot of other guys may see it. So I think that's just kind of like disrespectful. That if this chick that's a friend knowingly comes on to you that's married, and sh if she's a friend, she's probably met Rita. So for you that's to, not that's not true. Okay, let's say if she didn't. Clearly, y'all, you and Rita have been married for twenty plus years. Why does she? Why? Why? <laughs> so, but no, Anton. You, is but this no, no, no. Because I, because I, I know you. Because you say that because you're cool with Rita, right? Yeah. So, but if so she's but friends you with you, you gotta be cool with that's not true. Okay, let's say she's not cool. Rita. Clearly, clearly she don't give a shit about Rita if she's coming on to you. That's one. That's disrespectful. Two, you're disrespectful if you still want to be friends with a chick that disrespected your wife and disrespected your marriage. No, that's not true. That's not true. As a matter of fact, listen, there's plenty of women that come around and I don't even give a fuck about whether they're in a relationship or not. That you're changing the no, whole goal. Not, that's not my no. problem. That's not that's my responsibility, and that's not my problem. Listen, yeah, I, don't, I, I, I don't sit here and ask women if they're in a relationship. Anton, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about these girls you meet and come on your little black couch for a day. We talking about a chick you say it's your friend. Right? We talking about the chicks that you said it's your friend. This is why you shouldn't call right. everybody a friend. Like if this chick is your friend, like if this happened to me and I'm married. And my homeboy that I've known for 10 years comes on to me. Yo, if I told my husband, you know, he'll be mad. It'll be more disrespectful if I continued being friends with that guy. Like, you came on to me knowing I was married. So you disrespected my marriage and him. That's crazy. You can look at it that way, but I don't look at it that way. Because the way I see it is Man. your responsibility is to check your chick. His, your, your responsibility is to check your man. That ain't got nothing to do with me. At all. And it's the same way the other way around. Listen, I, I carry the same principles when it comes to relationships, cheating, whatever it is that's going on. Your responsibility is to is to is to check your chick. Don't crash out over the other dude. And it's vice versa. And so everybody want to hold somebody else accountable based off of how they see your relationship. No, you are a reflection of whoever it is that you with. And so we can't keep giving all of these responsibilities to other people. That's not a part of your relationship. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. You got one ob one objective, one obligation, and you took a vow with one person. That's it. Yeah. And so I don't understand why we keep heaping all of these extras on other people when that's that's not their responsibility. If your chick didn't want to be there, then she wouldn't have took a flight. That's your responsibility to check your chick. Check your hoe, nigga. That ain't got nothing to me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. As a matter of fact, I never, I never asked her whether or not she was even with him and whether she had a person in the first place. That's your responsibility because your chick is a reflection of you. Anton, what you talking uh, about? No, I'm saying, but what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is we keep talking about disrespect from other people to your, to other spouses and all of that. That ain't got nothing to do with the conversation. We add that in in order to validate how it is that we can justify whether or not somebody should be around us or not. That don't have nothing to do with the conversation. When people are in a relationship, their responsibility is to each other. That don't have hmm. nothing to do this, with the other person at all. And if you didn't want them in that situation, then that's your fault, your responsibility. Check them. 
Don't sit there and talk about how they have some kind of obligation to your spouse. If my chick go out there and she do something that she ain't supposed to do, that's her fault. I'm going to deal with her and ain't nobody else. I expect for another dude to do whatever it is that he going to do if he got the opportunity to do so. Okay. That's what people do. But she don't have no obligation to meet no expectations to anybody except for me. So my responsibility or what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold them, her accountable. I ain't going to talk to nobody else. And if that ain't, and if that ain't it, then I don't need to be with her. I could just let her go. But that's not applicable in Q's example. In Q's exactly. example, it's not you, applicable. Because in Q's example, it's you and a female friend who pushes up on you. And she's saying that that's being disrespectful to you, Rita, and your marriage. So it's you, not. What, you're, what you. What? It's not. Not. It's, not. it's not because she has no obligation to anybody except for herself. She is not in a relationship with my chick. So what I'm saying is that if I, I determine what happens after that, I could determine whether or not she get let go or she stick around or whatever, but she don't have to have no respect for nothing. She yeah, don't have no obligation to my chick. She asked you if after that happened, would you essentially let her go or is she still your friend? You was like, well, that's it, it, dep it, depends on, it depends on the context of the conversation. I think every situation is different. She gave you the context, Anton. Anton, this is your Every friend. Is this is your friend. If your friend, so-called oh, friend, you. respects your marriage and your relationship, you, you, you're, you're giving me a hypothetical. I told you I don't really have friends like that. So okay. you, you're putting me in a hypothetical situation that isn't real. So I'm a, I'm you role playing. Like you came back to her like four you times. I'm, I'm role you know, playing because you, you said know. you said. Anton, you don't want to do the hypothetical or whatever. From the very beginning, I said, I don't really have friends like that. Anton, you, Anton, you, you call everybody super duper dope and friends. No, yeah, what does that got to do with anything? I you, don't have friends like that. You said you have friends. You have female friends that you know you could smash. You know you could have hit. I said, I've had, I've had female friends in my lifetime that oh, I know that I could smash. Oh, it was past ten. ten. Now it's had. Yeah. I All said, right. I've okay. had female <laughs> friends in my lifetime that I know I could smash. And then I said, I don't really have friends like that. So you have no female friends? Yeah, I got a couple, but I don't have friends like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, I, I'll, give, I'll give you an example, Q. Because see, you being, you being intentionally naive right now, right? No, we're no, 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 no. I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. You my homegirl. You my friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you're not fucking in town. You're not here okay. in Detroit. We don't okay. spend no quality time with each other like that. Okay. So it's not the same. When I'm talking okay. about friend, when I'm talking about friends, I'm talking about people in real life that you can see on a regular basis. I'm not talking about the shit that, for example, me and you got. Anton, you don't it's even not the see the same you thing. You're not, Anton, see, you're not here hanging out with me. Anton, you don't really hang out with people. You know what you do? You be working on your That's laptop. My point. So we're not That's talking about my, my point you is, people, Anton, I would so consider you a friend, but you're not around me anyway. Okay, cool. So Since it's you not the same thing. In real okay. life, I don't, I don't fuck with people like that. I'm on my grind. I'm focused on the things that I'm doing. Even True. the people that said that they cool with me, I don't consider them friends. They just people that just that I'm cool with that I know. That's not the okay. same thing as a friend to me. Okay, so okay, you're right. So acquaintance is friends. So since I'm in the hypothetical, let's put me. Oh, I'm not if doing I, it. If, yeah, uh, uh, I'm not doing uh, uh, it. No, I'm not no. doing it. I'm not because doing it. Doing it. Because I'm you like to it. ask me questions. We go because to a meetup. It's not the same. It's not the we same. We go to a meetup and I come I'm on to you. It. I'm not oh, doing no. it. No, no, no. And I come on to you. Not doing and this. I just and I'm cool with Rita. I talk to Rita more, but but and, this is a completely I, different situation, Q, because you no, are Q, Q. Let's be clear you're more cool with Rita than you are with me. So that should show you that's that I'm disrespecting that's not the same as the, as the, the hypothetical same. situation that you painted. But no, 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 no. But this happens in real life. You know how many girls be messing with their homegirls, boys, and boyfriends? So let's not do that. Anton, if I come on to you That's knowing knowing you're married, knowing I'm cool with your wife, that means I'm disrespecting Rita, I'm disrespecting you, and I'm disrespecting your marriage. It's not the same. So, 
Okay. Move along. Okay. Not the we gonna move along because Anton don't like to ask answer questions. <laughs> Let's go. But Let's I go. know that if I was in the scenario and it switched, it's done. I'm not. That's that's so disrespectful. Uh, You're supposed to continue a friendship, even if it's a business relationship with a person that would disrespect somebody on that type of level. It's done completely. No, nah, I think that you could still be useful. No, look, all money is not good money, Anton. Like Ooh. all money, I ain't said nothing about money. You said you said useful. useful, but I know you business wise. You're talking useful as money wise, mm. business wise. Come on, man. You you can still be useful. Yeah, you're That's talking about business, which is money. Because All because money again, because money. again, the the my thing is, and it, and I've always stood on this. I've always stood on the idea that just because you offer, don't mean I have to necessarily accept. You're right. But that's not what if, I'm trying if, to if say. A woman, if a woman do something, for example, at work, and I think that this is the difference between guys and girls in a lot of ways, and we don't really want to admit this, but it's a reality. If a woman come on to me, like in mm -hmm. a professional setting at work, right? Mm -hmm. Inherently, I'm not the type of person that's going to go to HR and say, hey, man, this woman came on to me. I'm just going to establish clear boundaries and rules. And I'm going to be like, listen, we got to get this money done. We got to get this work done and let's keep it moving. That's, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't insert personal feelings into it because again, I'm all about business. But and so that, the, only, totally the only thing that I control is myself and I control myself. And that's how I stay out of, how the situations and how I stay out of trouble. For but, me, I believe that I've done it perfectly the way that I've been doing it the entire time. And that's why I never had no problems. I ain't right. never had no issues. Mm -hmm. And so you can't say that I'm wrong because I'm 100% above board 100% of the time. Has Let's a friend came on to you like that? My last question. Has a friend ever came on to you? Granted, of course women come on to you. I'm not dumb. Come on. These women love married men. But has a friend, a friend, a real friend ever came on to you? Yes or no? And I'll let it go. Yeah. That's what? Oh, okay. Next question. Okay. Read these Let's, stupid texts. <laughs> Can I ask a quick question? Let's say they are useful to your business, whatever, but what about their character and their respect, you know, as a person for your marriage? Mm. Mm. Does that outweigh, you know? Mm. Does their usefulness outweigh their What is that mean about? <laughs> she's right. That's character. She's oh, wait, like, how's she right? And I ain't even answered the question. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. You're right. See, y'all automatically want to condemn me. I see what it is. I see what it is. Y'all want to figure out where it's wrong. Okay. So you saying, is it relevant as far as my marriage and my relationship? Is that what you're saying? The, yeah. So even if this person is useful or, you know, um, they contribute a lot to your the, su the success of your business, does that override their disrespect or maybe it's not disrespectful to you, but if they are trying to get with you, even though you're a married I've man. I've never fired anybody in my entire life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never fired anybody in my entire life. I don't get, see, listen, y'all get caught up in this disrespect shit. I don't get caught up in the emotional aspect of it. I don't. I'm 100% about business. I don't get caught up in that. And I think that I'm a good judge of character as far as vetting whether or not I actually want to hire somebody or not. And I haven't been wrong up to this point. And so once I establish it and I say, hey, listen, this is what it is. And this is how it's going to be. If you don't want to, if you don't want to accept that, then that's up to you. And you can, you know, make your own decision going forward from there. Otherwise, we got to focus and we got to get this bag and we're going to keep moving forward. And that's what it is. I don't really understand what the problem is with that. You telling me I'm wrong off of that too? Does does the same go for um, Rita? No, that's different. <laughs> it's different. It's a hundred percent different. And I think, and I think that it should be. It should be different because. It's always going to be a double standard between men and women. Women can't do the same thing that men do, and men can't do the same thing that women do. 
And is that, the, is that the standard because that's what you set and she rolls with it? Or no, that I believe that that should be the standard in, so, in society. I no, think that it like, should be different with men than it is with women. But does she, and you don't have to tell me specifically her, but like, does it matter if she agreed with that or not that you should be able to do that? It doesn't matter what, what she agree with. I consider you, I consider what you say. I take into consideration every kind of discussion, but ultimately it doesn't matter what you agree with. It's always going to be different for a man than it is for a woman. You're right. But the fact is that we, you've talked about this on your show, men, you need to protect yourself. You got to make sure you put yourselves in environments where you don't get caught up with women. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure you protect yourself in general. Mm -hmm. And for a woman to show her character in that type of sense, you wouldn't really be protecting you, your brand, or your business if you would bring that type of woman back into that little circle again in that nature. There's, there's so many other women you can get. How can I? Mean, I? How aren't, how aren't I? This, how is aren't the, I? this is the 34th circle of this conversation. Okay, let, because, let's go. Because, because, <laughs> okay, so here, here, let me summarize it. For a woman to come on to me. A woman that's a friend. Let, let's get that clear. That's a mm -hmm. friend that you get money with. Not these girls mm -hmm. that be in your DMs that you don't know. Yeah, that, that's not a problem for me. I feel like I can control that situation. Yeah, yeah. It's the fact, of course you can control it. Of course. You so can I'm not tripping off it. So of I'm not tripping off Of course you're not going to trip. Y'all you... getting caught up in a whole disrespect conversation and shit like that. I don't get caught up in that. Shit like that. Shit because like because y'all emotional. And I don't make decisions based off of emotion. I make decisions based off of logic. If this person is absolutely important to me in a lot of aspects of what I do from a business perspective, and they generate a lot of revenue and they take care of certain positions, it's certain people that get a lot more leeway. And I don't just make decisions based off of like I'm operating like a corporation. I am a small business. I make sure that I take care of business and I'm going to take every factor into consideration. And I'm not just going to eliminate the person just because they had a, a level of attraction. I don't mean that they did anything wrong. It's not a level of attraction. They came on to you. Okay, they still didn't do nothing wrong. And it's my responsibility to deny it. And we're going to okay. still get this money. But if they want to leave based off of the idea that I rejected it, then that's up to them. But I'm not going to fire a person that's great at what they do because I'm getting emotional about the idea of how they felt about how it is that I operate within my marriage. I'm not doing that. Okay. So ladies, keep on going after those married men. No, I'm just playing. They're going to do it anyway. <laughs> but it's up to us to exercise, in my opinion, it's up to me to exercise dig discipline, establish the standard, mm -hmm. and I don't worry about all of that other shit. I'm not letting anything get in the way of what it is that we're trying to accomplish. It's hard to find and replace great people that's good at what they do, and I'm not making an emotional decision based off of that. Now, y'all could say that that's a character flaw because y'all believe that everybody, if you just disrespect them, don't get caught up in that shit. I don't get caught up in the emotions of it. If, mm -hmm. if it's about business, and you know me, I'm a forgiving person and all of that. If it's about business, I'm going to go get that's that. That's a downfall of yours. How? And because you've seen how you forgave people and they, and they use your nice guy and then they they betray you. Yeah, but and then eventually, like but, that, but, but in the meantime, we got that bag. And then eventually, mm -hmm. however they go about doing their thing, that's up to them. But then we keep going and we move on. And we move mm -hmm. on. Perfect. Well, Thank you for everybody that's tuning in. We're win. moving on to the I'll next topic. Again. We don't win I'll again. Win. I'm just done going in a circle. The hypocrisy is wild tonight. I won. Does anybody agree with me on this stance on the panel? Or my tripping? I actually agree with both of them. It started off as a friendship and then it went over to the business part. So that's where it changed. So <laughs> Anton, I agree with you on a business part. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. but I agree part, with Anton the whole way around. Yeah. Personal. Yeah. Because I honestly understand what he's saying. Basically, what he's saying is on, it doesn't baby. matter who talks to you. It doesn't matter who comes at you. It's your responsibility to be faithful to the person that you're in the relationship with. So if mm. there's a woman that comes up to your husband and say, hey, I want to talk to you. I want to have sex with you. It's his responsibility to say, no, I have a wife. I'm not going to do this. Now, if you want to talk business, we can talk business. But at the end of the day, if it's anything other than that, that's his responsibility to say, well, I'm not going to do it because I'm married. 
Ari, that's, that's, that's the point. Ari, I can't the point, but that's, not, you know. that's not what I was saying. Ari, you just said you don't want your man to have the opposite sex friends. So let's say he I know, has because I okay. trust. I, I know people. You trust your man? Yes, yes, great. You trust your husband? I love that for you. Guess what? He had me as a friend before you. We're friends, and one night, and y'all, y'all are married now. One night, I came on to him. He right? He him. told you what happened. Mm-hmm. Are you cool with us being friends still? He he going. That's Ari. y'all. He going. Whatever happened, if y'all had to do, what I had to do, then that's y'all. But at the okay. end of the day, I'm gonna focus on my money. I'm gonna focus on me. Okay. So, so we're, we're cool. Me and you are cool, even though I disrespected you and your marriage and your man I'm coming on right. to us. But at the okay. same time, I'm gonna talk to him and, and I'm gonna come to you as a woman. I'm gonna say, I understand what happened. I don't like oh, you the way you coming to me. All right, your man should come in. You just you said exactly. I went oh, to my man. Already. That's man. the thing. If it's, if no, it's don't, don't worry about it. All right, all right. I'm gonna coach you on this. I'm no, coach no, you on no, this. no, 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 Yes, I'm gonna go to my man, but at the same time, I want her to know I know. I've done this before. I know well, about what does that have to do with her? Why are you See, that's why. She doesn't owe any loyalty to you. She, she doesn't, doesn't owe any you. loyalty to me. I'm not asking her so to owe any loyalty. Why are you having a conversation with me? Like? Because I'm that type of person. If I if I find oh. something out, I'm gonna go to two people. I'm gonna go to the both people to get both sides of the story. So you didn't I trust her both sides. Your husband? You had to no, know. I never said I was gonna trust her. I never said I was gonna trust him. At the end of the day, I want to know both sides of the story. Whoever's lying, they're you lying. You stated that you trusted your man. You're right. I do trust my man, but at the end oh. of the day, who knows he's lying? Who knows if he's not? But if you trust your man, you wouldn't believe That's he's lying. You wouldn't need That's the other side. Your mama could be lying to you, and you'll never know it. No, true, yeah. true. But if you say you trust your man, if you say you trust your man, if I say I trust the man, I don't yeah. care about the other I trust guys. my man, I trust my mama. But at the end of the day, you can't trust everybody. People oh, can tell you who I they are all day, on. every day. It does not matter. Who they show you who they are is what matters. They can tell you this shit all day. Mm-hmm. So it's you would want to hear my side of the story. You right. Okay, when you go to address this woman, though, what does that conversation look like? Being that she Dear doesn't Lord. Know you. Yeah, this is how what I, is, this how I feel. Okay, this is, for example, me and you, Alex. I come to you. Hey, I found out about what? the little situation I have between you and my husband. I don't like it, but it's cool. But it's cool. So it's you came to me to tell me that it was cool. You wanted to. What did you want to? Uh, <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. To be cool. I already did what I wanted to do. So now that's what? fine, and I'm gonna let you know. He's still wow. with me at the end of the day. If that's who you want, if that's who he want to be with, baby, you can. Oh, so you want to pull a barber? This is sure. Okay. I'm not gonna fight over no man. So Ari, I have a question. What you be doing? Q, Q is Q would be. No, doing no. So I'm not. Ari, are you saying that because you saying that? But are you saying that because you want to know if what happened was the truth? Are you what it lies with your husband says? Right. Because if I came to a woman like that, I want to know if what exactly. my man said was true. That's what I'm so doing. He, I'm trying to figure out okay. if he's telling me the truth or not. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So why do you need me, a person you don't know, to verify what you internally know about your man? Because at the same time, a man can tell you whatever the fuck he want to tell you, and if that's your husband, you're gonna oh. believe it. But you just said that you don't believe it, so all <laughs> that's, what I'm saying. That's, not what I'm saying. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I believe you can tell me the sky is purple, and I will believe you. But if somebody else tell me and show me proof that the sky is blue, why the fuck am I believing you? If Why I do you need my people, though? You don't know me. You sleep with this man every you, night. You, you would believe me as life. a random chick. So you're going to believe me, a random person? I want what you have. So why are you trying to lie? Hey, Alexandra. I, 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 I need you. I do need you to come. Women will lie. You're not right. most of the topic. You can tell when a woman is going to tell you the truth or not. No, I I'm just wanted to remind her I've that I needed her so to come back. Women, not even behind my husband. When I was with other people, I texted women so many times just to see if he was lying to me. And he lied to me every time. A woman At is going that to point, I me. think the problem isn't even him. It's you. You want to check everybody about your man? You won't. No, no. listen. It has nothing to do with checking a man. It has nothing to do with making sure he's lying or not. What I'm saying is... I'm the type of person, me, Ari, I don't give a damn. If you told me the 100% truth, you showed me proof and everything, I'm still going to go to this bitch to make sure she, you telling the truth. Why? Because that's who I am. 
A lot of people don't do that like me, but I'm the type of person. If you telling me something, I'm finna go find the facts for it. I'm finna go find the read the hey, resources. You have trust issues, is I what you're telling us? Is that no, right? I don't. Yeah. Have yeah. Trust yeah. Issues. Yeah. Like you need to. Trust it issues. has nothing with trust issues. Issues. We gotta get. We gotta get to the next question. It has though. nothing with trust <laughs> issues. <laughs> I'm just like no. I'm a not to know person. Yeah. That's yeah. how I am. We need to know. Okay. All right. Don't worry. I, I got. I got you. I got you. All right. I hold. I'm holding you down. Woo. Okay. Thank you for everybody that's in the chat. Let me get to these super chats because they piling up. He got pineapples times two. He an official lame laughing my. Cap <laughs> yam. I seen you on there at least ten times. <laughs> um, me on a grown man out here. Um, Q, you should be on TV. Personality shines through. No, girl, I don't want that attention. She, wasn't, talk, she wasn't talking to you. She was talking to me. What personality? Most of these men are good friends because they're spending money on the lady. they just not attractive for the woman. Um, <laughs> sexual attraction isn't logical, Anton. Women are backwards. The man with the game is M, is M, is a man who can rubs women's emotions and nerves in many ways. Mastering a woman sexually, emotionally, etc. Game. Mr. Anton, we don't accept those guys because we feel we can do better at the time. But as we get older and still single, then we circle back for the guy and say, hey, I was just thinking about you. I mean, that's true. Mm -hmm. Sex ain't all that. So what I what I clap cheeks and know about the mole on the left titty? Boo-hoo. New secret. What kind of ice cream you dip your fries in? <laughs> you offended by her own hypothetical. Um, Anton, you mad disrespectful, bro. Why you destroyed an ether bro Boyce Watkins YouTube career like that? Oh, I missed something. Okay, wait, wait, what? Come on, the black couch for a day. <laughs> Q built different. She be standing in the oxtail rice and pee business. Facts. In relationships, each individual is responsible for their own self-discipline and choices, shaping their dynamics with maturity and accountability. Stay here, agree with me. I didn't. I didn't disagree regarding that point. We're not it's going back there. It's disconnecting from the person that disrespected We're, you. Anton preaching for his polit politician run. Terrible hypothetical. False equivalency. Not nah, Christopher. See, they all they rock with me. They are. They. You can say just like Ari said. If the sky is pink, they gonna believe you. Okay. <laughs> the I tell you. Hypocrisy is big on this one. Yes, girl. Big. It's not hypocrisy. Only I can be as jaded by buns as you, Anton. <laughs> Love the show, Island God. Thank you. <laughs> um, here is a tongue twister for understanding. If your girlfriend comes to comes on to you, do you end your friendship with her? How would you really handle it? What? Anton is able to sell water to a fish. Damn, Q started asking a hell of a hell of a lot of questions after Anton said. He could have had slept with the majority of his female friends to be a fly on the wall. Ari, stop. I'm running out of hats. Yeah. That's showing you y'all 25 to oh Anton, get it now. Go on my phone and number two, contact someone without permission. Relationship is over. <laughs> I already didn't talk about going through your phone and hacking. No. That's what, that's what Ari said that she does. <laughs> oh, she did not say that. She said, if you you show me you on, I got access. Well, I got to go through nothing. Yeah, I got access. Yeah. Once so what I'm, you got I just want to understand. I have a standard. If I tell you my fuck ups, I expect you to tell me yours. I'm an open book. That's all I'm saying. I agree to that point. Mm. I love that. For um, you. It's like, don't use my saying. It's <laughs> like having unhealthy food in the fridge. Why are you trying to be healthy? Why have that temptation around? Thank you, Ray. So smart. So smart. <laughs> well, thank you for everybody that's in the chat. Please hit the like button. It's free. Thank you for everybody that's tuning in. Let's get to the thick of it. Okay? Because, baby, y'all acting up on this panel. Let's see if y'all going to talk the truth. Okay? Let's watch this little clip. Drea Michelle reveals that she's pregnant with 22-year-old Drea Michelle. Okay. She pregnant? Yeah. What? With 22-year-old Jalen uh, uh, Green's. Houston Rockets. Uh, he's a young, budgeting star. Uh, the 39-year-old model reality star and entrepreneur has not confirmed that she and 22-year-old Jalen are expecting a baby girl due in May. They got it on. I mean, and people are and people are people like upset. What you upset about? This is two consenting adults. Oh, she's, I, he, I think she's 39. People, people she's 20, about, he's 22. 
the age difference. Yeah. Oh, I think we're upset about the age difference. I think she got a son. Her son might be 22, huh? You ain't got no problem with that? No, he grown. Jerry Michelle is 39, dating Houston Rocket player that's 22. Her son is 22. And she just came out. It was speculations like a couple months ago, but she just, you know, when they post that pregnancy picture, now it's factual. We got proof that she got knocked up by him. So what do y'all think about this situation? Is it okay? No. Is Jalen Green a victim? Is she a predator? She's a predator because there was a, there was an interview and she said she don't want to get married and she can do the whole live apart co-parenting thing and... He's a sucker. Yeah, coming people from better a, be consistent. That's all I gotta say. Just entering this conversation, people better be consistent because when it's reversed, people don't want to be consistent. I got an example. We gonna get to that. Okay, we'll stick here for a little bit. <laughs> Man, yeah, she's a her. weirdo. She's a weirdo. She's a predator. She's the same thing. Hit? No. Nigga, shut up. You no. lying ass. Kick him off the no. panel. We'll catch you, you next week, boss. Bro, do you she know my history? Her asshole, nigga. What are you talking about? I said he. I didn't because say he. You're a weirdo. I said he. <laughs> not married. Yes, I will. You hit the other baby mama for a year and a half, so you tell <laughs> me. <laughs> Lesson learned. You are telling me. Lesson you learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> Lesson learned. Oh yes, God. I am telling you that. Nigga, yes, I'm bad. telling you that. That's, nigga, that's wild. It's a bro. young 22 year old in Miami that looked just like her. What are we saying? Stop. Or you can get her. That's in your face, nigga. What you mean? Come on, man. <laughs> she's not in my face, but she's a predator. That goes for the same as the niggas that do it. Y'all have a that's problem. Not true. That's it. not true. That's bro, not time true. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. When it's flipped, the man is the predator. Boston well, Richie well, no, just no. went through this. And wait, 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 let's not him. talk about man. Let's not talk about man yet because I'm a flip it. Okay, okay. I got bet, an example. Let's bet, talk bet. about Drea. Plain and simple, she's a predator and she did this on purpose. Just like you she said, Quentin. Yeah, just like you said, Quentin. She's already been documented saying she has nothing. She doesn't want marriage. She's strictly going to go after athletes. Like, I don't know what more you need to know. She's a predator. Wait, but is she a predator if this is a grown man? You can still be a you can still prey on somebody. Okay. Predator, prey. You can okay. still do that. You don't, it's not an age thing. So is it praying when she online says she doesn't want nothing serious? He knows her history. She has all the details about her past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it really praying if he knows all this about her? He knows her truth, her he knows her box, basically. Is it really praying? Mm -hmm. It's Two things can be true at the same time. Okay. I don't. No, I don't think. Questions. I don't think she had to pray because I think it was. It's, it's pretty well documented. Like this is his like childhood crush or something that I think is what he said or something. Oh, I'm like, what's you, not, what's you saw growing up. Yes. He wanted to hit. Yes. I mean, I think that's all. Good. Like, bro, I follow <laughs> sports a lot. Like, Jalen Green has been obsessed with this lady since he was in high school. This isn't just yeah. some. On the whim, she knew that shit is kind of weird, though. That makes it more. Come weird. on, he's not a victim. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because of, he's yeah, not, for her to be for her to be a predator, that um, I guess means that he's what then, and and that equates an predator idiot. what prey. He's a but prey, but pr okay, but prey oh. is obsessed mm. with this chick for you know as long as he's yes the same. Mm, I don't. I'm. I really don't. I really want to flip it, but I know Q gonna do that later on. So I'm gonna just wait for that. I think predator is just a strong word to use. So to throw it around, you know what I mean. Especially but, when you know, he was infatuated by her. Well, hey, I bet, yeah, I bet you he sent the first DM. 100. He he hopped in her inbox. This is crazy how hypocritical we're being right now because it's a man. Well, if no, this we're was going your young to daughter. You. Oh, my bad, my bad. I, no, I but, Jay, but Leon, we're going based on what you said. He was infatuated by her. So he, he kind of sought her. He sought her out. So is but she a predator if this man sought her out? Yes, because she's strictly going off of him because he's a meal ticket. She said he DM'd her. If she saw two her Two things out, can be true at the same time. Just because he wants. No, they can't. To, that is, no, they can't. 
Not yes, they can. Not in this situation, they can. Not this situation Q, can I please flip it? A, a motherfucker DM me and I said yes. What the fuck do you mean? Because I want to flip it so you clearly understand it. Women do this shit all the time. No, but there's women. double standards, so we're not going to get to that double standard yet. We just talked about but let's Korea. acknowledge the double standard. Let's acknowledge it. Well, how can you yeah, be a predator if you want it? Like, if he wants it, how is he prey? Like, how is he prey if he wants it? He has free Bro. will, just like, you know, Bro. women do too, but yeah. Mm -hmm. You're being real emotional. Y'all are, are being hypocritical. Get, get them, ladies. Get them. Y'all are being hypocritical. So, in that ladies, same token, well, the got next time. You, in that same token. He's not 15, wait. not 12, he's 22. Wait, right? wait, wait. That's cool. That's cool. So, when your daughter is 20 years old and she 22. dates the 50 year old, there and should be no problem. If she's infatuated with, it's not a problem. Was she infatuated? That's Did cap. she plot it on that the is, SDM? That's How cap. Yeah, that was, that's never time. that's never the first reaction. We but let's not use uh, we can't use on, you know man. people are biased. You know people are biased. You know Anton was just biased. We mm. know everybody come gonna on, be biased man. using their kids, so we can't yeah, use come our on, kids man. as hypothetical. You would not be comfortable with your twenty year old dating a fifty year old. Stop no, it. No, she true. you would think it was a thirty two. I flipped it. Thirty nine. I flipped it. Mm -hmm. Okay, flip it. A 39-year-old man dating my 22-year-old, and he going to be able to take care of her? Hell yeah. Drake. Let's use Drake. Drake is a prime example. Drake is 37, mm -hmm. dating Lotto's sister. She's 21. Bro, first of all, that's not confirmed. We're going off. They went, they went on a date. They went on a date. Wait, you were just talking about flipping. Now you want to say it's not confirmed. They was on a date. It was a whole video. Because we out. don't know for sure that they're actually dating. Celebrities do a lot of... Let's dating. assume it is. Now let's what? Okay, let's assume. Look at the comments. There are grilling Drake. What are we talking about? <laughs> no, they're not. They're not drilling yeah. Drake. I can put... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Y'all asking, asking them the wrong question. Y'all asking them the wrong question. If Drake is if Drake is talking to a twenty one year old, is he a predator? You can say that. No, is it's a yes or no? Is he a predator or not? Technically, no. yeah. No. How is he a predator? Wait, how, how is he? How is he a predator? Because I'm using the same metric that I would use if it was an older woman, knowing okay. that there, how that is, we, he a there is a double standard. I know that, but that's just the metric I use. How okay, so substantiate your argument. What makes him a predator and which make what makes her prey? Because he's willingly going, he's willingly going after younger women. Now, why? Because we have a little more detail with the Andrea and Jalen Green thing. So I can't really go into deep dive, but I'm just assuming it's like what we always hear on YouTube: men want younger, tighter women. So technically, you can say he's a predator. I personally don't feel like he's a predator. Because I don't know the context. Wait, you just said him. that he was a predator. Now he's yeah, not a predator? Said, that's why I put technically behind it. Because I'm staying with the same position that I had with Drea. But I know more information with the Drea situation. So he's not legit. a predator? Technically, yeah. But in my eyes, no. Because I don't know his intent. You his said intent. in your eyes he was, though, at first. No, I said technically... <laughs> He's no, a no, 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 listen, eyes, listen, listen. I asked you yes or no, because you could say, you you said, word for word, you said, you could say that. I said, no, 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 no. It's a yes or no. Is he a predator or not? You said yes. I said technically yes, and then I broke <laughs> down. Listen, listen. We can use semantics and all of that. Let's yeah, just keep it. I get, let's what, just you, keep I get it. what you're getting. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's just keep it simple. Is he a predator or is he not a predator? You're saying it, so it's your opinion, Okay. Is he a predator or is he not a opinion, predator? No. In my personal opinion, no. <laughs> but, but on the other side, you're saying that Drea is a predator and she's 39. Yes, because it's more context. Okay, so, so, so wait, 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 wait. So he's 37, she's 21. She's mm -hmm. 39, he's 21, 22. So mm -hmm. she's a predator, Drake not a predator, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how? Because you're using the same metrics. The reason she's a predator is because of the reasoning behind what she's doing. There's always context to every situation. The reason What's why the reason? because she said out her mouth, she goes for athletes specifically. She does not want to get married. She wants to do the co-parenting. And on top of that, she knows so Drake that is gonna we know that Drake is probably gonna fuck that young girl. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then fly her out, and he's not going to marry her either. So what's the difference? Frank doesn't take no woman But he's serious. not going to get her pregnant. He only has one baby he mama. Had a that baby was a baby in the world. So it's the, pre- it's the pregnancy He part. didn't know about the child, bro. And then when he so found it's the, pre- it's the pregnancy part. Yeah, it's the whole she plans to get pregnant. Type that's now, what is that? What does that matter? Are they all adults? They're all mm-hmm. above a certain age, and they all, all have the ability. Listen, you got the ability to go and join a war, you got the mm-hmm. ability to go buy alcohol, you can go right. fuck anything you want to fuck, you can do what you right. want to do, you can right. go get a, any job you want. So, with that be, being said, but you shouldn't have the option to date who you want to date that's above that's above legal age, right? No, that's a good point. I'm not gonna hold you in that interview. She said all that. Saying, that I was would before say, see, this. Okay, let's put it like this then, because you kind of—I'm not gonna lie. When I hear new something, I hear new stuff, and it, it makes more sense. I'll change my opinion. I would say it's predatory behavior, not necessarily she's a predator. Okay, so our passport bros predators. Yeah, if we gonna stick on that, because <laughs> you specifically. <laughs> That's kind of predatory. Ooh, so you're saying that passport bros are predators then? No, I'm saying I'm changing it now. You say yes. I'm yeah. changing it though. You first I'm you say yes. You just said yes. Literally 15 seconds ago, you say yes. But that's why I preface it by saying you kind of changed my perspective a little bit. So I would say not so much that they're predators, that is exhibiting predator, predatory behavior. That's kind of two different <laughs> things. Like you can be a you can show simp. Qualities, but not be a simp all the way. Oh, if you got some qualities, that means you just simp simp or you not? not. Are you not? No, that's not true. That's not true. That's That's no, it's not. That's not true. true. So, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. (laughs) So, you're basically saying to me, once you do some simp shit, you're always a simp. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Okay. 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 Bet. Let's keep that. No. 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 Listen. Listen. Hold on. Hold on. Let me add the context. All right, go ahead. You're emotional. I'm gonna let you get it out. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Been, I know you had a difficult time tonight. It's okay. No, I actually, I'm loving it to be real. Go ahead. No, I know, so, but so. the beginning of the conversation, it was a little damaging. It was a little. Rocky. Uh, go ahead. Get your get it off. Get it off. <laughs> no, I didn't uh, escape me. Go ahead. <laughs> Can I ask a question? I, I, I think. Yeah. Go, go ahead, Clinton. No, that's go ahead. You, no, that's you, baby. I'm going. So baby. if, if <laughs> so <laughs> if. Damn, <laughs> okay, Leon. So if she's predatory, so does that take any um, autonomy or does that take away his uh, autonomy then? No. So where does that fall into the equation? That's why I prefaced it after Anton broke it down. I said, okay, he's kind of changing my mind. I would say it's more predatory behavior because you're going after a specific set of people for an agenda and that may but be he, may, yeah go ahead sorry go ahead that may be like for drake they brought up it, we've we kind of know the uh stereotype behind men once they get to a certain age once they get to a certain level okay they go men date down women date up so with that being said you can take it uh, that's why i say it's more kind of a predatory behavior but that's just more so maybe the intention it. Maybe the yeah, intention that's what I'm getting could at. be like, why are you doing it? Like so, every woman that want to get with a guy that is no, you don't even know what I'm about to say. But I get <laughs> what you're about to say. Okay, what am I about to say? You said so. Every woman that gets with a guy that's possibly younger than them is has exhibits predatory behavior. No, no that's, that's not, not what no. I was about to say. Okay, so <laughs> what I was going to say is so every woman that gets with a guy is high value because you mm-hmm. said that. It was the context or the why that matters because mm-hmm. she got with him because he was successful, rich, whatever, so on and so forth, right? So yeah. is uh, so our women that are trying to get with men that have a lot of money in order to be able to, you know, justify a lifestyle or whatever, are they predators too? Is that the sole reason? Maybe it's their, it's their it's the main. It's the main reason. Hmm. Kind of got me in a pickle. Okay, well, according according to according to, to the Britannica, according to Britannica.com, it says a person who looks for other people in order to use, control, or harm them in some way is a predator. A sexual predator is a person who commits sexual crimes against other people, a corporate predator acquiring business rivals. Oxford says a person who ruthlessly exploits others. 
Um, we don't we don't do dictionary definitions around here. It's well, all about we, the context. I, I, it's I, all, I, it's I, all about I, the context. I, if that's the case, <laughs> then yes. I'm giving I'm giving the like definitions so that we can agree. If okay, so if we don't buy into this, then what is our communal definition of predator? We have to all agree on what predator is before we can say if it's a predator or not. Right. So if you don't agree with Britannica.com, then give me the definition and then we can all answer our opinion of if it's a predator. I mean, but you because because listen, the reason why we can't use the definition is because it depends on how we are applying it, right? So for example, any any animal that hunts, if you're applying it that way, is a predator because they have to have prey in order for them to be able to survive. They have to go and hunt. You know what I'm saying? Every lion is a predator, right? That's why they lame it, l label them apex predators and stuff like that, but right? That's one of that's what that was the first definition. That's specific Correct. to animal, but then there are definitions specific to people. Correct. I understand that, but it's the same thing when you look at the hierarchy and the food train as far as us hunting animals, right? You like how you apply it when it comes to a sexual predator, for example, how you use that example versus us hunting versus like we, we kind of use a predator in a slang way when it's when we applying it to this situation as far as relationships, because if it's not if it's not somebody that's underage, then it's got it's 100 percent slang. But that but and I agree, I agree with you that a lot of times we are and that's fine if we're not using a book definition that's cool but we do need to establish what we are considering a predator whether it's slang or not because you're I don't think that you can I think that I think that it's different based off of the context so I'll give you an example I've been saying all night that it's always going to be a double standard between men and women it's always been socially acceptable for a woman that is above that that is legal for her to be able to talk to an older man. As a matter of fact, historically has been normalized for you to be, pat matter of, I'll, I'll even go as far, forget historically, let's talk about today. Women say today, don't date men based off of potential. If you're not dating a man based off of potential, especially for women that are in their twenties that are looking for a man, then that means that ultimately they're gonna be looking for a man that's significantly older than them because you ain't got shit but potential if you're 21, 22, 23, 24 years old and you just got out of college. You ain't got nothing but potential. So if you got to date a guy based off of him not being potential, but for him to already be at the finish line, chances are you're going to get with a guy that's already a little bit, a lot older than you. And that shit then becomes attractive. And then you can say, oh, you could use it both ways. You can say, well, he's using her for her body. He's a predator. If we want to use the slang term in a way that, that Leon was using it, or you could say, well, she's a predator because he's using him for his money. A lot of people wouldn't label e either one of them as predators as long as they understand the situation because they would say that it's just transactional. He understands what she's getting, what he's getting from her, and she understands what she's getting from him. And so they both happy with the transaction because relationships may be transactional. So because other people label label it as predatory because of how they may experience life or have, how they may see life may not be applicable for that situation. And that's why you got to evaluate every situation, you know, according to its own merits. Hmm. I hear you. Yeah, I still think that it would be easier if we all had an understanding of what we thought Predator was. Because for, 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 for him, it might be if you are a certain age. For some, I agree with you. We have different ways of looking at it. So either way, I personally I don't. don't oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Carrie. You don't no, personally I, what? I personally don't think that it's an issue of being a predator or not. I, I understand what Leon was saying based off of hearing Drea say, I'm looking for a guy like I'm I'm aiming for a guy who's in who plays basketball. Like this is what I'm looking for. So it, it might seem like she targeted him and it's ill intent. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. But all in all, I still wouldn't label it like predator would not be the word that I would use to define it. I wouldn't either. Weird, but I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't she, use took advantage of, she took advantage of an opportunity that hopped in her inbox. I definitely <laughs> agree with that. I but agree with that too. If we use this definition, right, that video was shot before they even met, right? And y'all say people can change. Um, how don't we know that he wasn't 
preying on her, right? How do we not know that? What? How would you show that? He was so since he was fifteen. She he he knows he what was, type of guy said that. that she, about her. she knows that she is sucking like for some power money, dynamic, right? That's what yeah. you, one might argue. Yeah, but you would have to argue that. And you and can't. What does that look like in this, he can't. She can't be the prey <laughs> if he the one that loses when he catch her. Know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's true. He can't yeah. be the prey. She the she a trapper. I say it all the time that men are hunters, like they're overt hunters. They, they're the ones that's carrying the big musket. And women put bear traps around. And that's just what it is. She trapped that nigga. And so he got caught. He got the bad end of the stick. He may not know it yet, but he got the bad end of the stick. He got finessed. And so he is this? He is so is it safe to say? But is it trapping if he wanted to be trapped? If he if this is this guy's you know dream, he, he don't know that he's trapped though. yet. He That's don't know he's trapped. He's only 22. He's 22. That's what he I'm don't saying. know no better yet. He don't know he trapped yet. The fact is that y'all say he's only 22, but when we bring up conversations that you guys lose your virginity at 10, oh, I'm a grown man. But now that this, this man is 22, this has to do with your mental state. Here state. we go. Q, go ahead. Go ahead. It's crazy. <laughs> no, I, I don't agree with the predator because y'all know how I feel with these old women preying on young little boys. But y'all, at that time period, y'all say y'all were a grown Definitely men. not a little boy. Uh, not you. I'm talking about Anton when he was ten or whatever. Oh, I, was I knew grown. she was going to do it. But the fact is that this man that's is what twenty-two. I said. Let's just go ahead and get to it. Let's get. Now that's it predatory. It's cra- yeah, wait, that wait, is wait, predatory. Let's go ahead and get it out the way. Let's get it. Yes, it. yes. He had a, a woman. A woman took advantage of this man at ten years old, which is crazy. But then Anton said he was a grown man. But now that we have a man that's 22, a grown man, old enough to drink, <laughs> old enough to vote, make his own money, he's only 22. What the, What does that mean? Like, what does that mean? We don't know that if he didn't go after her. We don't know if he slid in her DMs. We don't know we if he know wanted that. to be trapped. We he do might have wanted that. to be trapped. We know that. So both of them can be predators. Yes or no? There's a lot of people. It's There's me. a lot of people that are dating people sure. that are 39 and 22, for example. There's a lot of people that are in relationships where there's a big age gap. Bro, no, it's not. The majority my, of Americans my. in America, the age gap is five years apart. This Max. nigga got all let's, the stats tonight. Like, let's, and if you don't believe me, look it up, bro. The hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Five, bro. Let me, let me ask a couple questions. Uh, Kenya. Cat. Kathy's 54. What do you what do you think about this whole situation, Madrea? Getting pregnant. So I feel like if it's a predator, then it has to be a victim. And both of these stories, it don't sound like nobody's a victim. This little boy been salivating over her since he was younger. He's not a victim. He won it. And then if you take Drake into consideration, you know all the little young girls want Drake. So it's like no victims in this whatsoever. So I don't think it's predator mm-hmm. and hunting. I feel like everybody involved wanted, they want to level up and she wanted to level up too. So I don't feel like nobody's a victim in it. Like when you say predator, I feel like it has to be a victim somewhere. So I don't feel like it's no victims in this at all. It ain't going to be a from, victim till the end. Are you nobody's from, a victim till it's over. From Baltimore? No, from Chester. Well, okay. outside of Philly. Okay, I got you. Yeah. All right, Alexandra, what do you think? You're muted. Muted. You're muted. You're muted. A- amateur. All right. I don't think anybody is a victim. Uh, to be honest, I feel like both the relationships are transactional in both scenarios. Drake and a lot of sister, and Jalen Green and Drea. I feel like if anything, people can say she leveraged her ex- life experiences to put herself in a better position. And maybe he doesn't know that he's he has been taken advantage of, and maybe he won't see it like that in the long run, but I don't think there is a victim in either situation. What did, what's the problem, Quentin? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just listening. <laughs> I don't know. I just think he got finessed. I think he, he is. Man, no, he ain't get finessed yet. I, I think he got exactly what he wanted. He's already pregnant. Right. That, he stuck he with her. Really hurt, though. So he's stuck with her already. already. She's already pregnant. They stuck. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. 
<laughs> what you saying, Anton? Like you know, because you a man, so you've been through. You you older, so you know that that little boy it, eventually is gonna be some shit. I, I understand. I'm, I'm yeah. telling y'all, calling a six eight nigga a little boy. But, right. He's so not six eight. Bro. Right. The man is like six three. <laughs> Is that, a little bit, is that a little bit? You know, we were here a couple years ago with Brittany Renner when she was with her baby daddy, and <laughs> oh, they're a good couple. She's not a hoe no more. But then when they split, oh, he's She's a the victim. victim. No, he made that choice to be with the hoe. That is a choice of a 22 oh, year old. Like, we gotta, it's just, I don't know. You can't be I celebrating like that. So we don't get the young and dumb excuse that y'all get to use, even though y'all mature faster than us, is what I'm hearing. So we're I don't, I don't want to say, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think, I think that there's a lot of things that are double standards, and I think that there's some things that should be double standards yeah. um, in society. I don't want the same. I don't want to be looked at with the same standards as a woman, yep. personally. Mm. And I don't and I don't think the I don't think the flip side of this, I think men going after younger women, they probably stick together like longer, I would say. Like he ain't, you know what I mean? Like if they're marrying them, having ain't no 50-year-old nigga busting down no 20-year-old chick getting her married and, and leaving her. It, it, it don't happen. But the vice versa is happening. Like they're not gonna be together forever. This shit ain't if it's intentional, she's gonna, she gonna be she gonna be 60 and he's still gonna be popping at 40. Like this this ain't the duration of nothing. Let's no. say this was intentional, okay? But why are people playing with fire? I don't get that. I give it five years, at best. Less. No, nah, it ain't gonna be no five years. Less. less yeah. yeah. By, by the time less. The, <laughs> she, the, the baby won. eight months she, old. He, she won ten times. She won. She she accomplished what she wanted to accomplish, and she and she got him. She she slayed y'all. But see, this is one of the reasons why. See, women always tell me and they say, hey, Anton, you know, don't you ain't got to say nothing. You know, don't don't warn these guys and all of this stuff or don't you know, you shouldn't be doing this or stop holding women account. I have to use these things as an example because I'm tired of these young guys getting finessed and he got he's getting finessed. Ten, listen, it's like a person that goes to the dealership and buy and buys a lemon. That's like, sticker price. You buy you buying a used car. And you're gonna overpay for it. And some people will say the value of something is based off of how somebody, you know, what somebody is willing to pay for it. And then other people are gonna say, you know, you got a lemon, bro. You should have never bought that car. You bought, you got, you paying for a Pontiac Aztec. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you are, bro. And then, and, and you know, then they got mad at me when I dropped that clip on Instagram yesterday, and I said, and he hit it, and he hit it, and all these other guys hit it, and then you decided that you wanted to go and get her pregnant. It's the same thing, and he did it. He absolutely is, is you know, he got finessed. I don't think that he's a victim, but I think that he got finessed, and it's unfortunate. I just don't get how he got finessed. When everybody in America knows who Drea is, just like everybody knows who Brittany Renner is, like, are y'all men that dumb? Like, I just don't. I just, I just he didn't know who she was. It's the fact that she took money from him. She finessed money out of him. She knew she finessed money out of him. But the thing is, we all knew their character. What about the other guy, the actor? I think he's on the, I don't know, the one that married, that got pregnant, the porn star. Like, are you men dumb? Like, the athletes, like, who are their mentors? So how, do, how do you feel about Larsa Pippen and, um, and Scottie Pippen's uh, person? That is or wild. That is wild. Like, gir girl, so you would she be considered a predator then? Yep. I, I just, this whole thing is just weird. I just, the old people dating young people, men and women, is just weird to me. Just in yeah. all genres. It's weird. Kathy's 54. I, and my son or daughter doing I, I, can, I can speak to this. The woman that I've been consistent with for the most amount of years is 54. Old, and she, she, didn't pray, she didn't pray on me 100%. So you prayed on her? I would say I'm more. Like say, most, of our, most of our parents and grandparents, they, they, was, they had an age difference. Like that. No, some of them niggas was nasty. Yeah, but they were. They were nasty. Some of them niggas was nasty. Miami, bro. 
But we know that women back then wasn't preying on men for their money. Those men were broke. They they wanted some of them niggas was nasty, right out (laughs) in real life. Some of them niggas, and just because they grew old together, and you see the hey huge ass grand, (laughs) you see the huge ass age difference between grandma and grandpa. Like damn, how long y'all been married? Damn, grandpa was a fucking that nigga was wow. He was he was he wasn't right. That That nigga was a weirdo. Some of y'all niggas is some of y'all niggas is wild, bro. Straight up. And so we not gonna absolve y'all. Some of y'all are straight up some fucking predators in real life. But you know, it is a double standard, yep. I think, between women and, and men. And I think that we need to I instead of us denying it, we need to identify the double standards. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Men are able to do some shit that women can't get away with. That's just the way it is. Women are able to do some shit that men can't get, get away with. It's not going to be equal across the board in most situations. It's not. And that's why we need to, you know, we need to have and identify gender roles because it's not equal. And the minute that we start to, you know, come to that, come to grips with that, then we can have some more real conversations. But if you keep trying to equalize it now, we can hold you accountable based off of equality because that's the thing that you advocated for. However, on the other side, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to money, when it comes to what you're looking for in a relationship, it's not going to be equal across the board. We know this just is what it is. I think with this topic, it's, this boundary and line is becoming thinner and thinner with years on what's considered crossing the boundary younger ages especially in schools you got all these pedo ass teachers women teachers messing with kids and they're getting a slap on their wrist right but guess what if it was a man teacher with a little girl it's harp it's harsher punishment which i don't same. agree upon it is the same, the same. no I, and that's the no. problem. See, that's the problem. People like y'all that said it's not the same. This this should be a situation that's bigger, a bigger problem. Okay, you know, tell, me tell me this. Tell me this. When when I when no, I, let me finish. Older, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on, because there's a bigger problem. Society thinking it's okay messing with kids, and a lot of these uppity rich folks up there are okay messing with kids. That's why they want to lower marriage ages in others in these states because people like y'all, it's a double standard. Okay, <laughs> say the same thing when they lower the, the, the dating age, the marriage age, and then your daughter can marry a 50 year old at the age Jesus, of 17. Let's see if you have that same. What? Mary was 14. Listen, this is what I know for sure. No. So you want to marry? Let's let's not do that. You so you a, say a, age is a oh, age is a social construct, and let's just say fifty years from now, eighteen may be maybe not the limit. Maybe it's twenty five. They up it to twenty five, and people are saying busting down an eighteen year old is gross. It's socially constructed. But you, but you like know, fourteen what? year olds, fourteen year olds be a grown ass human at fourteen. I thought people know, need Jesus. <laughs> That's crazy. You know why that might change? Because people are becoming that's a norm. This whole dating error, that's why those rules are going to change in the future because it's going to be more receptive to date younger. It's going to be, you know, it's not the same. Talk BS, and that's why they're gonna want to change these laws because the people like you. Well, more more than likely, the laws are gonna go the up. They're gonna go up, not down. It's gonna be like more like you gotta be over twenty. Not it's gonna not gonna go down. Okay, that's the that's more than likely. So I know this. It is gonna it is a double standard. For example, when it comes to younger, Uh, case in point, if you got a, a old ass teacher. I'll, I'll go even. I'll even go over to this again, and I say this a lot. It was guys that drove up to the high school that was grown ass men that was coming back to the school to come and pick up these chicks. And on a regular, it would be normal for us to hear chicks in school that was our age that say, "Yo, I got an older boyfriend," and that shit. That shit was foul. That shit was wrong. On the flip side, yo, Miss Dooley, shout out to Miss Dooley. I could. I, I wish I could have got my hands on Miss Dooley. Everybody wanted Miss Dooley. <laughs> I, I think the thing about well, did you have about, that same sense if it was a, a, LG, a gay teacher, a man gay teacher messing with your son. Come on, you know why, I don't. Why, even why do you make stuff personal? Like, 
<laughs> because that's what it hits harder. No, no. When there's a grown ass woman having sex with a student, she's not preying on his emotions. On the flip side of things, when a man is trying to fuck a young chick in school, he's preying on her emotions. That's not what's happening to boy. Little boys want to buzz down their teachers. That's what we want. They're not preying on shit. (laughs) No, no, no. That old lady is preying on the child. What are you talking about, Quinn? No, she's not. Nigga, the child thought about it before. I bet you that child said something to that teacher that gave her like, bro, listen, this nigga want my yams. Like she didn't start it. Bro, listen, my mother, my mother works in education. A lot of times, a little girl can be pregnant too. Hold on, hold on, Leon. Let me let me say this. I'm not yeah. saying that it's right, right? Because the woman yeah, teacher clearly. still needs to exercise a level of dick discipline. It's, it's not a matter of right or wrong. I'm telling you that the double standard validates the mindset between both a man and a woman. Like it is natural for a man, especially when he gets to a certain age, to fucking be a horn dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, You're like sitting for, in class and there's a big piece of boobs in front of you running the teacher, like. Fuck all these little girls with right. little nubbles. Like this is a full ass boo. That's the fact, bro. <laughs> bro, and so, you know, we like to, we like to remake it and all of that shit. Y'all are going to be Wait, the you uncle. Yeah. I, I'll give you another example, right? Even though it's not ideal, especially with all of the diseases and stuff, to sleep around and stuff like that, a guy that, quote unquote, soy his royal oats, or a guy that has been with, you know, several different women that's not necessarily looked down upon it never has ever in society has ever been looked down upon you never got a scarlet letter for a guy however a woman is supposed to be with one guy and any woman that has been with more than one guy has always been looked down upon because women are supposed to be pure they're supposed to be precious they're supposed to be you know better than us as far as not suffering and not you know, whatever. And that's why we label them and we slotted them differently. Whereas you don't slot guys differently. We slot guys ba- di- ba- based off of their successes. They're being able to conquer, having power and their socioeconomic status. We've always done that since the beginning of time. We've always slotted women based off of their purity. It's just the way that it is. That's the way that we were made. That's just the way how we see things. And it's never going to change. Our animalistic nature has always been the same regardless. So I don't know why y'all keep acting like even when we have these conversations, when it comes to relationships, oh my God, is it bad for a guy to cheat? No, not really. <laughs> not really. Based off of our animalistic nature, it's not. We've civilized, we've civilized ourselves to the point to where we've started okay. adding standards in order to try to make things a little bit mm-hmm. easier for us to separate the difference between right and wrong when it comes to relationships. But in reality, if you go back to the core of who we are, it is right. more. It is wrong for a woman to sleep around. It's not necessarily as bad. Is it wrong based off of society standards today? Yes, but it's not as bad as when a guy does it. It's just the facts. Right. The, the thing is, though, is I do agree that with the testosterone that men and women are different, you know, when it comes to wanting sex, whatever. But men are not animalistic because they have a prefrontal cortex just like women do and they are this is not a determinist you know society like yes we've been civilized but also too like you can choose between right and wrong or choose just in general that's free will so Mm -hmm. i i think that like men have more control than animals do yeah, but animalistic doesn't mean that you're. First of all, we are we are all mammals, right? We are all we're not mammals. like dogs, correct? But a, but, a, but a lion is not like a dog, and a dog is not like a cat. So right. they, they don't have free will, though. Dogs and lions and cats don't have free will. They absolutely do. They absolutely no, they do. Yes, you yes, they, they do. Don't. Have you been? Yes, no, they, don't. Don't. <laughs> they, they don't. They don't do have it. Instinct. They, no, listen, listen, listen. They <laughs> all right. So what? Let, me break it down. let me break it down. Let me break it down from this perspective. Go for it. We, we for are it. Am, animalistic because our instincts and how we operate it, it based off of our instincts is going to be the same when you bring it back down to when you remove all of this, everything that's around us that distract us from what real life is, and we get back to the core of who we are, our instincts are always gonna kick in. And what is that? Women are always gonna be based 
go, go and get with the best available option, the same way that they do based off of what? Survival. And men are always going to be hunters and we're going to be conquerors, right? Which means that yep. we take trophies. Yeah, yeah. We take trophies. That's an animalistic, basic instinct in the same way that if you turn your back against the cat, regardless of how long you raise it, the cat is going to go into a hunter's position because its instincts are going to kick in. Now, we do have the ability to be able to think our way through, civilize ourselves, train ourselves to be different, so on and so forth. But the, but the nature of who we are, the core of who we are, it's still going to be the same. But, but lions and, and cats and dogs cannot think their way through. They just do it. Now they can be trained and conditioned, but they don't know right from wrong. They have no morals. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that they can't, they can't think their way through it. How can't they? They can't reason. They can't reason. How can't they? Have you ever they seen don't. a monkey? Well, my dog, like he puts his foot in the, in the, in the water and then decides not to. So <laughs> they literally reason. <laughs> That's That's reason. That's they conditioning. That's you would ever believe. They even get some of the same diseases we do. So why don't they live among us if they just they can think and reason and have morals? You know what I they mean? They do. I have a dog right there. They do. Oh, right. Have, you, have, oh, you, have you been to the Middle oh, East? Have you, they literally have how well, pets. Have you ever seen how well whales coordinate in order to in order to hunt? Have you seen how they've adjusted how they communicate with each other? How are they, they not able adapt. to? Them? Yeah, they can. <laughs> <laughs> they, can, they can adapt, but they're not thinking like, okay, if I do this or if I don't do this, this is what's going to happen. You know, they, they don't do that. Absolutely do think. You that time, please let me slide. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't think that they think and that they reason? You don't no. think that they have feelings? <laughs> Just they like do planes. have feelings. Do have that, you ever <laughs> seen what happened when they one of their, one of their when their spouses die, and they're so much similar to us? They are almost exactly like us. They just you don't have the ability together. to do the same thing. Do they have morals? That is what I'm saying. Yes. yes. You don't think that? Oh my God! Yes. So what, what moral? What, what's their moral yeah. construct? What 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 morals Which do animals? they go by? Do they go by the Eastern society's morals or Western Which society's animal? morals? No, see, now you're it's you're one. you're applying human standards to well, oh, so we're different. Perfect. That's my whole point. <laughs> but just because we're different, don't mean that we we don't have similarities. No, we do, we and I no, I granted that time. to you. I'm saying we are. We do have. I get. I don't even. We're mammals, like you said. But I'm saying, I don't think comparing men to dogs is. It's not apples. <laughs> To apples, you know, it's that's apples why we compare oranges. ourselves to primates. Prime, but even then, they're the closest still thing to us. Closest thing, but it's still not. It's still apples, and I don't know. Pick another fruit. It's not apples. We and have oranges. Apples it's a little bit we closer. Also have, we are. We have differences, but we also have similarities. We do, but I'm saying the grave difference. The biggest thing is that we have a prefrontal prefrontal cortex, which allows us to plan ahead, but also to the fact that we can. We have free will. We can choose. They is a lion going to become will. a vegan? No. That's now, if you control its environment, it yes, because that's all it has to eat. But it's not going to choose that for itself. Okay. So, all right, right, right. So, why, wait, 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 wait. Why, yeah, why do bears? Is why do bears? I mean what I say. Bars. Why? Why do bears hunt the way that they do, and then why do they hibernate? Because of their natural instincts, their nature. Just because of their natural instincts. That's it. Yes, their nature. Yeah. So they haven't adapted no. over a period of time based off their. They do adapt too, but that's also with nature. Well, why don't they with just the way that they are? And why? Why? Why are they able to think and? Because adapt they die out. Nature? Because whatever it is that that uh, behavior, they they adapt and it'll die out because obviously they're. Um, oh, so survival. They have to survive. So that's literally them changing the way in which they do. They, they, they reason within themselves that they have to do things differently in order to be able to survive. That's the so we, we, we all, all of us, listen, the only way, even humans themselves, it all comes back down, down to survival. That's it. Correct. And then they live for us no, like to live while we're here, but it all comes back down to survival. I agree with you. I agree with you. So how are we any different than animals? 
because we have free will. We can I got, choose. I, I, got, I got your. I got you because we have a language. I'm sorry. We have a what? Language. That's the difference. So you don't think that they know how to communicate with each other? I said language, not communicate. There's a difference. Yeah, but you use language in order to communicate. The, Do you this not? entire conversation language. is not is not genuine. Like Leon, on, Leon, tell me what you disagree with, and it is genuine because I'm me when I say. So make sure you're because genuine in the words I, you use. I get what you're saying, but what am I saying? Let's thing, just make sure, like you, you're getting what you're I'm saying. saying. You just said animals don't have free will. That's the difference between us and animals. Correct, okay, yeah. let's go with that premise. Yeah. So if, let's say a lion. A lion doesn't have free will, so you say. So why are, so why is there multiple male lions, once they reach a certain age, they have to, they get kicked out of their pride and they roam around the Sahara Desert. They roam around Africa finding, trying to find a mate. That's free will. They don't have to do that. They yeah, do they, have to they do that. Do literally have not gonna, they do they, they literally they have They will not war. survive, yeah. But like, I'm there saying a, there was a group of four lions that literally went around and terrorized prides. They it's a documentary why, on this. Sure, I That's believe it. Why real. are lions not because they have morals, like you said, why are they why are they uh uh carnivores? Why aren't they vegan? Why are we carnivores? I no, I asked you about lions because you're okay. arguing that that animals have free will and have morals and can think and reason. So yes. if it's if they have morals, why is it not wrong to them to eat gazelles or whatever? Because that's how they survive. If they don't they eat, can't survive, they don't survive off plants. I actually if you, actually if you study it, and I actually did a, a I had a conversation with a guy on my platform, um, the way in which their bodies are made is completely different. Like, like for example. Um, if, you look, if you think about elephants and a way in which their bodies is made, I, I believe they have like two different two different stomachs and yes. all of this other type of stuff. So it's, it's it's different ways in which they're, I guess you could just say that God made them that allows for them to be able to adjust. And I think that it's just a circle of life. They they're made to made to you know do things a certain way that allows for them to be fruitful, and then it, it feeds into the ecosystem a certain type of way. We all interconnected in that way in order for us to really be able to have that circle of life the lion i know uh, i agree with you and i think it's interesting when um like you've seen somewhere you know out west where they introduce wolves and it you know changes the ecosystem and i think that's fascinating but why are why aren't people accusing animals of ruining the, the earth that's they, why we they may them. be in a certain them. way but That's why, why we but call they, some of them invasive invasive species, right? And we and we yeah, and control them. We lit we literally have governments in different states that will say that literally have hit orders on certain animals to bring because they um it's bring an the imbalance. Now. Yeah, right. Right. Like I just mentioned that they will bring in wolves because it's you know it, it's like a trickle down effect with you know how the um. Deers are affect the deers, the deer are affect or the elk or whatever are affecting mm -hmm. the trees because of, you know, things like that. And then that Crazy. affects, you know, all the rest. Yeah. But um, but I'm saying they my whole argument is that yes, there are a lot of similarities, but animals do not have the same capacities that we do. Clearly. That's no why we that. are at the top. <laughs> no one said animals and us are the same. How are how are we different then, Leon? Because we have our brains are more expanded than theirs. We can do more. Like what? Um, for instance, we can build buildings. <laughs> don't don't do this, Leon. Let's let's don't don't do that. With don't what? Her, I mean, don't let her trap you, Leon. She's, don't let her trap She's being <laughs> ingenious. She's being very disingenuous. We we uh, understand. Yeah, there, there, that's the big. It is manosphere work. I'm this is don't let her trap you. Know I want everybody who says it to spell it. Me. Spell the word. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> don't let her trap you. That's Listen, crazy. You stand on your square, Leon. Oh, I am. Why do you got two N's in your name? 
Why do I have to? <laughs> Shit, I don't what? know. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> random, bro. <laughs> Why do you have one in yours? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, why you, I don't know. Is that, your, is that your real name or did you add an N? For no, that's my middle. That's my uh, middle name. Ian Leon. No, it's one in. I put the extra in. Leonin. That's how. That's my. You Instagram added an N, nigga. Why you acting like you ain't? That's talking. my Instagram handle, cuz. That's not my middle name is Leon, but I yeah, have an extra blood, in Instagram. But, you add, but your middle name is Leon with one in, right? Yeah. Why you act like you don't understand what I was saying there? The whole night. Because I really did in that first. <laughs> you the ain't know why I asked you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It kind of hit me out of level. I was like, why he asking me about my two ends of my name? That's kind <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. No, <laughs> Can we move on, please? Huh? Can we move on, please? Let's get to the super chat. Y'all, Lord, have mercy. I don't know how we started talking about the animal kingdom, but Brittany Renner all over again. White people love animals. Very hot chance Jalen cheats before she turns 60 unless they don't get married. Jalen Green will be Drea's age when the kid is 18. Hold on, Q. I got one. Hold on. Let me get this one real quick. <laughs> 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 it really was, though. I ain't going to lie to you. Papa, we got it. I'm going to put it in. Somebody God. definitely had it. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> no one saw Katie Holmes as a victim when she married Tom Cruise. She said she had his posters in her room. They were a power couple. They were equal. Oh my god! So Dre is pretty mulatto woman. Low, she gets a pass. Thank you, Brandon. Wishing you all success in community love. Three twelve two thousand twenty. Hey, that picture is wild. You look naked in that bed. <laughs> <laughs> Dre wanted to get pregnant by a young athlete for wealth, but Drake is the wealth, so he knows not to get her knocked up. Does he? Leon is over Manis Ferry. Um, look at our ancestors. People were having kids at 15. So what? So is Arsa Pippen a predator? Leon, you spelled his name wrong. Leon, you have a 21st century biased mindset. They adult. Drea won. She gets child support until she reaches retirement age. She played it good. That's not right. OG's not falling for Drea tricks. That's a difference. Black Shinary, predator. No one takes advantage of the na naivety. Or yes. of a competitive advantage for one's own benefit, typically at the detriment of the prey. How is Dre a predator? Jalen slayed his crush. Dre is an opportunist, not a predator. Y'all yeah, can't call the problem. Him the problem was that he didn't do it like uh, Jalen Brown did. Jalen Brown had uh, Bernie's Burgos, and he didn't get her pregnant. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. Can she still get, ain't she in like her 50s? Can she get pregnant? No, I think she's like in her 40s, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, read that. Y'all ain't called Lori Harvey a predator. Um, she made this a real sentence. My little bro's dad is the same age as me. Shame. Shout out to Brittany in the chat. Hey, Q, keep up the great work. Salute to the panel. Hey, Ari, just showing love. Hey, Coach K. Hey, Anton. Okay, night, night. Night, night. Um, hey, got a pretty woman prego. Ain't that what women what men want? Is she a predator? Yes, she is. 40 year, 40 year age grab. Yes, she is. How old is that guy she's dating? I forgot about her. Y'all know? Cher? Yeah, she she like in her 70s or something. It's a big, big age gap. Nigga, she too and, old to be a she don't even know what she's doing. Nigga. She done lost her big. mental faculty. But in y'all's eyes, oh, he's getting a sugar mama. At this point, Leon just need to stop talking. <laughs> How do you feel about today's bag signings, Leon? Animals have more free will than humans. Passport. Bless her heart. You need to watch some Discovery Channel documentaries. I don't think you understand why you're wrong or you don't actually care about animals the way you think you do. Animals grieve. <laughs> Bless her heart. You need to watch more. Oh, he said the same thing. You did piss the Karen off. Oh, yeah. Thank you for sending the super chats. 
let's get to our last little video of the night. Here y'all go. A lot of people get married to people that they do not love because what ends up happening is that you make a rational decision. It's like a business decision. You look mm -hmm. at a person and you say, okay, she's going to be a good mother to my children. She cooks, she cleans, she's not super mixy. Am I madly in love with her? No, I'm not. And the same for, for women. I think women, they'll marry a man like, okay, he's a good provider. He has a solid job. And that's not necessarily a, a bad thing, right? I mean, I think too many people in many areas of their lives settle for what they don't want because they are not comfortable enough to be fearless to go after what they really want and just- Is it, is, is it settling? It. Is it settling? Or is it making an intelligent decision? The men who ended up settling, they end up chasing who they really love or desire out in the streets. Mm, so are most people today settling in their relationships, marriages? Let's start with people that ain't been talking. Yam, I know you're going to have to yell because your audio. <laughs> no. Yeah. Go ahead, yell a little bit louder. Just don't choke in the grape. <laughs> huh? Go ahead. You got a delay. Okay. Uh, what was the question again? Oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> it's right down there. What, 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 what is you doing? Instead of in your relationships. <laughs> um, well, I would just say the only thing older men told me is to make sure that you don't love her as much as she loves you. Because a lot of times uh, you can get distracted by that. That's what they told me. So. Okay, Alex. You're muted. Sorry, my camera messed up. Okay, I think a lot of people are settling in relationships. Um, and for the others, I feel like maybe they are making intelligent decisions because um, I don't really feel that you need to be in love um, or love somebody to have a successful relationship. Um, I feel like you can have certain core beliefs that allow you to uh, to um, build with a person, and I feel like love eventually comes like within whatever situation you have. Because when you met the person that you're with, if you are married, you I'm sure you didn't love them when you first met them. You grew to love them, but other characteristics um, allowed you to give that person time and find the space to come to that love. <clears throat> I, think, I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't been married yet, but I, I was always told that love is kind of boring and monotonous at times. But, you know, toxicity, you know, there's always fun. But that's what I've been told. I've been told that sometimes it can get stale. You with somebody every day, you kind of doing the same thing, you have new things. I don't know. I don't have like a. I, I'm only speaking from a reference. She asked your opinion. Okay. Ari. I don't know. Cool. I really can't say yes and I can't say no. It just determines on how you feel about the person. You are the reason you're, I mean, you determine whether you settle or not. If you don't want to be with that person, don't be with that person. Don't say yes if they propose to you. Don't say yes if they ask you to be in a relationship with them. That's kind of your choice. But do you think people have to settle nowadays? Because we have to be realistic. People are not going to find their perfect partner. Yeah. Well, if you put it but that way, then yes, a lot of people are settling because they can't find who they want. So they just deal with who deal who wants to deal with them. So is it is it all right, let me ask y'all a question. Is it settling or is it that most people have unrealistic expectations? It's settling. I, I well, think most yeah. people don't have pain for their relationship. You don't have a goal for your relationship with somebody to, who can help you succeed the goal. I think that's really uh, more of what it is. But that's not why y'all get with the person that y'all with in the first place, though. I, ain't got well, nothing I, to do with I, I hate when people say this but I'm going to say it. Two things could be true at the same time. I think they have an unrealistic list and then they settle for the shit on their list. 
Man, shut your ass up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but he does have a point, though. A lot of times women have this standard to where, oh, he has to have this. He has to have this type of money. He has to drive this type of car. He has to have the type of house. It's not going to happen. If you don't even meet those criteria, why are you even have, trying to have a man that has those criteria? True. Uh, Quinn, do you know why he said this? Shut your ass up. Because yeah. Leon he said, said it can be true. And you said no earlier. And you just said the same thing he well, said. Well, that's why I, that's why I just prefaced that I hate Fucking him. hypocrite. <laughs> you been wait, Leon. You the last one to be calling somebody hypocrite tonight. <laughs> that's disingenuous. <laughs> <laughs> That's kidding, Leon. All the- <laughs> he got all the shit. Carry, they carry. Are most people settling in their relationships? Oh god. Um, I don't know. I I think that it's a combination of what all of y'all said. Honestly, I think that a lot of people are. Are, they think they're settling because they think that they should be able to have all of what they want, need, whatever, and they might not have that. But I think in reality, <clears throat> a lot of people are not being real with themselves about who and where they are. Um, but in general, I think I think you're going to settle no matter who you get with because nobody is going to check off every single like detailed box. They might not, check not off true. the... I don't let, think that's they, true. Let me, I, I let think, me, let me, can I finish? Can I finish? My bad. I'm sorry. They, if, if, you, if you know how to make an objective and realistic list, then yeah. Like if, if your list is dealing with specific character traits and things like that, then fine. But I think when people think of all the things they want in a person, nobody is going to be all of those things. So technically, I think we all <laughs> settle in some way. But I think we also have created settle to mean this bad thing. I, th- I think maybe <clears throat> maybe women settle more than men because I don't, I don't think men ask for a lot um, in, in in general. What what what, 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 <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I was just saying. I think our y'all's list is this long, but ours is like this this long. Like I don't ask for much from a woman. I want some, some loyalty, some yeah. box, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's the di- that's the difference between one one child's Christmas list might have twenty things on it, but they all cost two dollars, and the other child has three things on it, but it costs five thousand dollars. So your list might be shorter, but it doesn't mean that what your what your with the simple things you want are are just so, so, so small. Box and loyalty is is a lot. You pay a five k. Hmm. What what you say? You need to get some new kids if you pay a five k. That's a lot of bread. I'm being I'm being extreme no, to just, prove to yeah, to prove my point. Of she um, just said everybody's list is not going to be the same, but at the end of the day, you're not going to find somebody that fits your three item list. Even if you have a fifty item list, you're not going to find somebody that'll fit that fit that fifty item list either. I felt like I did. I feel like my my camera's frozen. It is. <laughs> But I, I absolutely find everything that I wanted. But did she? Did she have it when you met her, though? I mean, you'd have to ask her that. So, but she's well, not I here see. to be able to say that. So, but I, I can only speak for myself. I feel like I, I found everything that I wanted. So, te- but, okay. So, technically speaking, I'm only bringing this up because I've heard Q, you and Q talk about this before about time, wanting more of your time. That's a want. It sounds like that's a want of hers that technically speaking is not met at the level she would like it to be met. That technically means she's settling for the amount of time you're giving her. But that doesn't mm. mean that y'all have a bad relationship. So that's what I'm saying. But y'all There's not y'all, y'all you you're using it in a different context now. Now you're talking well, about something. You, you're talking about something that's ongoing. The original conversation was, is this the person that you want? And do you settle for the person that you select? Now we're evolving. You're evolving a conversation, which is fine. I don't mind evolving a conversation. Um, but now we're evolving a conversation into what we're growing into and what our lives are evolving into, which is completely different from what it is that you're selecting from a partner initially, which is what the conversation was about. Y'all was talking about, is the person going to fit every criteria that you have on your list for what you want in a person? 
that's different from what you evolve into and then what you wind up settling as far as what the lifestyle is like. It's a completely well, different conversation. Well, I, well, no, I'm not specifically talking about in the beginning versus during. I'm, I'm just talking about at any point in time. I think that everybody at some point in time in their relationship, whether you settled from the jump or you settled, like, I think that that happens because to me, in order for me to not settle every single want, need desire expectation is met and that's just not realistic i i would call anybody who says that i would be like mm, i think they're lying now that's <laughs> also that's also because the definition of settling for me in a relationship i've now adjusted it i no longer look at settling as this bad thing yeah oh, like yeah. you know what i'm saying at one point in time i would have said it was a bad thing but i just i don't i don't think that that's so so that's why i'm saying what i said I agree. It doesn't, Nobody... I mean, but it still doesn't matter because I told her that she was going to be my wife in high school. I chose her. I told her, I said, you fit every characteristic of what I love. And I know you probably going to be my wife. And I told her that when I met her and I've told this story consistently. And then I said, and listen, as a matter of fact, I'm not even going to touch you right now because you don't even realize the value of who you are. I've said this story a thousand times and I've told it over the years, multiple different times. She's told the story multiple different times. And then she listened and she followed that narrative. And even after we evolved and we had graduated and went our own separate way, she was the exact same person. And she came back to me the same way that I told her that she needed to. And so that was the, the sign for me that solidified exactly what it is that I wanted. I selected her. I chose her. And I already knew that that was going to be my wife the minute that I met her. So I, I know I didn't settle. I chose her. You can't settle for something that you choose. Well, that's not true. That That's not okay. true. I mean, he kind of does have a point, though, because if you would you settle with a piece of pizza that's been bit off of already? What I'm saying? No, but that but that's my point. We're we're talking about it in different ways. Like I, I <laughs> the way that the way that he's saying settling, it sounds like settle would be like something that's beneath me, yeah. something that that I I deserve more than that. It, I'm better than, and that's not yeah. that's not how I now look at the word settle in a relationship. Christopher Columbus came to America which, and settled, which which goes back to when I was saying before, like this is where having an agreed upon. Definition, definition or using your examples to show what you think the definition is is gonna come up because quite honestly anton i started to change my thought on settle with kevin samuel's conversations your conversations people like y'all are the ones who had me start to look at settling different anyway you're right though it does have a negative connotation yeah when you think of settling, it's already people already think about it, it's like it's a negative thing, and sometimes it doesn't have to be negative. No, let's just be clear. Settling for something is I can't get what I want, so I'm going to accept what's best, or I'm going to accept the next best. That's settling. That is that is literally how it is that we operate with with regard to that word in relationships. I knew what I wanted, and I chose it. It's a difference. But is it most? Everybody's a completely for narrative. No, but because most people, most people can't get what they want. See, listen, if you talk to most well, women, they're going to say that they want a specific type of dude. And so that is the dude that they're going to shoot for. But in reality, most of them is not going <clears throat> mathematically, they can't get it. Statistically yeah. speaking, they can't have it. And so somebody is going to wind up going with something that they they don't prefer because they can't get what they want. They can't get what they chose. That's no, the true. So, Yeah, but the, most um, people are settling, though, if that's the case. And not I only agree. that, most you people are settling. In, when you get in a marriage, you hear all these people say, oh, we don't have sex no more. So they're settling, even though they weren't selling when they got married, they're settling, staying in a marriage where the woman's not giving them sex or their man's not doing this. So most people are settling. Like, I don't see it as a, a negative thing like Carrie. Like, nobody's perfect. God is perfect. Ain't not one person perfect on this earth. Ain't, Ain't not three, okay. any, but one person is not going to be every single of your qualifications. That's why you put your non-negotiables. What do you need and what do you want? 
Like, we have to be realistic. You're not going to get a perfect person. I did. Okay, one person. Okay, Anton, you did. I did. Anton she was did. absolutely perfect for me. 100%. Okay. Care, let's ask the other married folks. Carrie, Coach K, Ari, did you get a perfect, your perfect spouse? If you don't answer, you don't have to. I didn't say, I wouldn't say perfect, but he's my perfect, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. He's not perfect, but I've chosen to obviously yeah. look at, you know, this in a way that's useful um, and loving. Like there's things about, I think that contrast is necessary because how, how could we appreciate the things we love, about, like we truly adore about them if we there weren't some things that like kind of piss us off you know mm -hmm. but like but that's a part of them so i'm gonna take it all you know because right. i love them you know what i mean well let's for put what, it, I, for what i needed in my life i know she filled every single box she checked every single box and i'll i'll go so far as to say that not only did she check every single box she covered things that i didn't even know that i needed until I until I grew into it. I know that for a fact. For a fact. So not only did I not settle, she over delivered. And so it's a difference. It's absolutely a difference. Some people are, and that's why I say it's a difference between being successfully married and being married. Some people are enduring through a relationship, enduring through a marriage, staying there because they've been there for a long time, staying for the kids. We don't stay for our daughter. We enjoy and embrace every single thing that life has to give us based off of the circumstances that we in. We chose to have one daughter. We are living literally in our dreams, even through the things that we, we had to suffer through. It was great because it then, it then created a situation where we grew even closer. You know what I'm saying? And so everything that I needed from her, she over delivered. And it's the, th it's the reason why I always say that I will never let her feet t touch the ground. She will never need or want for anything as long as she on this earth, because she's more than over delivered. And she continues to do so every single day. You cannot tell me in no way, shape or form that she is not the perfect person. She is absolutely perfect. 100%. 100%. I'm not, I, I, you can't tell me. A lot of a lot of people may do may settle, but there's no way. That's why I'm so fiercely def like. I, sometimes I even, um, in the past, I've even been ready to crash out because it's just like you know I just don't tolerate no disrespect on her name at all. That's my one rule. You can come at me, but you you I I don't tolerate no disrespect on her name because she's she's been too too perfect for that shit. I, as I wasn't as lucky as Anton, I, I just think it's a paradox of choice. I think a lot of people think they got choice that they never had. So while you think you can get somebody who, like, like Instagram, really is turn the game different, you think you can get somebody because you can look at them and tap on that picture, but in our reality, you had a shot. But now, you know, when you be able to get in somebody's face, you some choices you just never had or you think you had, but you never had. It. So I think that also plays a large factor too. It also plays a factor of sometimes we've already come across a person that checks off everything on the list. We just pass them up. Cause you want more. <laughs> I think that a lot of people lack self self awareness, right? Yeah. Because the, the problem with this conversation is People use the word settling because they are not self-aware. I don't think that most people have done the work to understand themselves and to understand what they really need versus what society has taught them that they wanted. And that's the difference because people are creating unrealistic, unrealistic expectations based off of a standard that somebody else has, not something that they've been introspective enough to, to evaluate for themselves. So when you think about and you start to understand yourself, then you can start put to get, putting together a realistic list of what it takes in order for you to get to where you're trying to go. And then that's when you start to vet for, for the direction that you're going and not for what it is that you think that you desire right now. And that's why but I don't, say that don't you think that's a little tough? It's not because that's why it's important for you to be selfish before you be selfless. You can't spend time 
trying to figure out what void other people can fill in your life because you don't even understand mm -hmm. yourself. That's what the that's what that's why I say you gotta be whole on yourself first because you don't even understand what you want. So how can you then select what it is that you support? Listen, listen. That's why it says he that, that's why I say that the man that select he that findeth the wife findeth the good thing, right? Because we're supposed to be so introspective and so focused on working on ourselves that we know what we need and then we easily able to identify it when we see it. And so a lot of times we get distracted by the things that we don't need based off of shit that's going on all around us instead of being focused. That's why we need fathers in our lives. That's why we need, you know what I'm saying, to have spiritual guidance. That's why it's so many other things that we got to work on. And once you get that, it's much easier for you to be able to identify the thing that you really that's best for you instead of identifying something that's best for him based off of some standard that a fucking rapper told you or some shit that the society is telling you or Instagram is telling you because they don't know. They don't know you. You know you. But we're not introspective enough. We're not trying to understand ourselves. We're not studying. We don't know what spirituality is anymore. We don't know. We don't even know what the characteristics of a great mother is. That's why we have, that's why we unintentional and we have children out of wedlock because we just doing shit and then we remix in it. And so when you then find that thing and you easily able to identify it because you know who you are and you know where you're growing, you know where you're going, it's easy to find that thing. But we so busy being focused on what everybody else is talking about instead of being focused on what we know is best for us. You know so, what's best but, for but you. But let you me. Know what you need. But but let me ask this question. Oh, on, uh, on pineapple show. <laughs> <laughs> you on the pineapple yeah. show. Back to back. Back to back. Mm -mm. It's silly. It's silly, bro. I hope your audio is better. <laughs> Were you going to say something to you? Say so what? What happened? I thought he, I thought he was gonna say something, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I thought. were you gonna say something? No, he was, what does he have to say? Sometimes, sometimes you gotta be quiet and listen. Well, I think it's his audio. Yeah, your audio. It ain't, audio. It ain't his audio. It's working. Um, <laughs> can I add really quick while he's getting his what happened getting that you? audio? Your audio. Um. I think an additional layer to because Anton, what you said, I think is like at the crux of like why people have the relationships that they have. And also, too, I don't think people spend enough time considering that person, whoever they want. What do they want? Like, do they even want me? Do I? I hate this word. It's so overused. But do, do I qualify? You know, like, am I the person that can meet the standards that they want because they obviously you know they have a choice in this too um so i think that also is another part of the introspection have a choice on what who they're who they want to be with yeah you can but but then we see how that turned out because most of y'all passed up on the man that y'all supposed to be with in the first place so maybe y'all should lean more to the insight that was, and I'm not saying you specifically, I'm saying women in general, maybe they mm -hmm. should lean less into their own understanding and more into the understanding of the people that actually knows and can guide them. And that's why they need mothers and fathers in their lives. Because ultimately they're supposed to be with the person that their father um, is. And, and you know, the, the boys are supposed to be a reflection of what their father were. So I think a lot of times y'all, y'all, when y'all choose for yourselves, y'all actually been choosing wrong. Hundred percent. So I don't know. Maybe women need to ask themselves what they need, what's best for them, instead of what they want. Mm -hmm. So my my question was, how how did you know at the age in high school what you needed? Because even you yourself, you said she over delivered on things that you didn't even know you needed. Mm -hmm. So that, that's my only question. Well, I had a strong father in my life, and he was a reflection of what it is that I was going to be when I grew up. I had strong uncles in my life. I had people that was a reflection of uh, that, that gave me purpose, that sat me down, that forced me to go to church, that forced me to read the Bible, 
that, that went to work every day. You know what I'm saying? We, we had to take care of business. We was on top of things. So I seen what it took in order to be a great man. And I had expectations that was placed upon me. So when I seen her, I identified her, but I knew it wasn't for me at that time, which is one of the reasons why I told her I wasn't going to touch her. So it was it was that you was it not that you didn't fully understand yourself or that you no, I were understood raised exactly and, who I was. and that you were raised in such a way that you had a better understanding of what to look. For? No, 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 no. I was grown for this. I have a purpose on my so life. So you had a better life. understanding of what to look for. No, I was groomed for this. It wasn't that I was looking for it. It was that when I seen it, I identified. I didn't look for a wife. That's the difference. I wasn't looking for it. Most guys, let me tell you where most guys go wrong. And this is the answer to your question. Most guys go out here looking for a wife. You don't have to look for it. You know it when you see it. I was so... I, Listen, even even when I was dealing with her, I told her, listen, you're going to be my you're going to be my wife and I need you to hold it down. And that was the end of it. I never I never messed with her. She asked me to tell her. The enemy. I told her, no, I've told that story a thousand times. She sat here and told the story a thousand times. I rejected her and I said, I'm not touching you because you're too precious. and You don't even know what you are yet. OK, thank you. But I mean, like I said, I, that's why I was intentional. When I got married, I got married. I knew exactly what I wanted to do and how I was going to play it. And it's, it's, it was a great decision. Well, and I, I let me add this in there. Um, uh, a lot of y'all fathers failed y'all. A lot of y'all mothers, a lot of y'all mothers also failed y'all. They put y'all in a losing position. And I think that one of the problems that y'all probably really need to start in order to understand y'all selves, and this is just my my personal opinion. Um y'all need to go and hold y'all parents accountable. Y'all need to go and hold y'all, have a conversation with y'all parents and ask them why they fucked y'all up and why they gave y'all bad examples and why they left y'all out there to fend for yourselves in order to figure out what the fuck is going on. Ask them why they didn't go back and, and hold it down and stay together. A lot of y'all keep projecting and y'all keep, I, I see even people in the, in the chat. A lot of y'all projecting and y'all get mad at people like me and y'all say, oh my God, it must be perfect. Yes, my life was fucking perfect. Go blame my father and then go hold your parents accountable for why they fucked your life up. Because that's the person that y'all really need to go and talk to. Ask your daddy why he was in jail and ask your mama why she got with your daddy that wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. God. It's your fucking parents' fault. It's your, your parents fucked you up and they need to be held accountable. And, right. then, and then go take a DNA test to make sure that's even your father. Mm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Well, finish him. Well, I'm just you the I think truth. that's a tab. I mean, I understand, understand that's the truth, but nonetheless, I mean, people can turn the lies around. Nonetheless, I mean, I, I don't see why the the attack is necessary. It's not an attack. It's it's get, it's to get understanding. And it's to also it's to also it's to also it nonetheless. It's also to heal your heart, and it's also so you can have forgiveness for yourself. Because a lot of y'all are blaming yourselves for y'all decisions, and it's not entirely your fault. Mm -hmm. It's your parents' fault. They fucked you up. And they didn't give you the blueprint for success, and they failed you. And that's not always y'all fault. It's not an attack, but people need to be held accountable. And so what happens is they start to lash out at other people because they don't have that. But in reality, they can start to heal themselves and then they can go and get that. But they can't do that because they never got what they were supposed to get from the people that was raising them. Hold your, hold your mama accountable. She was a hoe. Hey, he's well, spitting right now. Well, I ain't gonna hold it. I will. Yeah, I was, I mean, I'm good. So I don't, I don't have to worry about those things. But I, I see you. I, I get what you're saying. But nonetheless, I just think like, I mean, I, I don't know. I think that's a tad bit overkill. I don't think it's necessary. If we were trained, you trained. 
A lot of people don't get that. Who was you trained by? Who was you trained by? My father. I'm a 3.5 Magna Cum Laude graduate. Oh, okay. Well, then that's dope. And see, that's why right. you believe so that. No, no, no. Think about it. That's why you 100%. think that because you had a strong father in your life. But see, what I'm saying, but not, not everybody, everybody has that. Correct. And if they didn't have that, right. if it wasn't trained correctly, then they need to understand why. I'm sorry. Say that one more again. Oh man, this is this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> you got all your issues, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was the question? <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. A lot of times, healing comes from people that hurt you the most. A lot of times, you have to remember you can't self improve if you don't heal. You can say you're healed all day, but are you really? Have you actually sat down and thought about everything that you've been through in your life and figured out why it happened? Well, I'm there's just, a call so for everyone. My, my but I'm I'm looking at it from 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 perspective of there's on, there's not going to be many people that's going to make that change. Obviously, by your own admission, it's going to be hard to even make that change. But to help those that are willing to take that step is a different thing. Saying it's hard you're wrong you because you did something is not, it's hard it's not you conducive don't want to. to it. Huh? I want to. Right. I mean, that's the recidivism is sixty percent, but that doesn't mean. I'm going to say you're you're a criminal. You're just a bad person, but it can help people that want to make that step. I don't. I just don't see them can do it, and that being necessary. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't. I don't understand what you're saying. Some of the time, yeah, your audio. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you got the audio. He will He probably got some deep points that he gonna make, but his audio won't let him. Yeah, hear. I want to hear what you gotta say, which sucks. But yeah, it's hard to hear you. Shit, yeah. sucks. But I, well, can you hear me now? Let's talk louder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> now it's your service because your service is going in and out. Your Wi-Fi. You in the dungeon? Okay, well, yeah. But I, I, w I was just saying that there, there's only so many people that can be trained. And, and the reason why I'm saying that is because recidivism is even 60% in and of itself. Out there. You I'm going in and out, my guy. Okay, I, the only thing I kind of got was right. them being trained. How Don't worry about it, dog. We was both in the yeah. I was in that boat last week. I was struggling. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Struggle, it's okay. Yeah. I lost. <laughs> Anybody else want to comment? But we before we get y'all out of here, <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys want to shout out y'all channels before we read the soup. Well, let me read the super chats first. It's only three. Um, yes, Mike went 12 rounds with Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> My brother came home from OTR today. I tur I tur just now tuning. I I'm tuning in. I'm late. What is that? <laughs> I think he's drunk. <laughs> I, think okay, I thought it was just, I need my glasses on, but damn, why did it take three hours to get your mic right? You said it too soon, you jinxed him. It was working a little bit, and then it went out. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, another one came in. Yam, yeah, that room nine Wi-Fi, hell ain't it, boy? <laughs> Room nine. Y'all want to shout out y'all channels? Go ahead. Anybody? Go ahead. I'll just say I'm dropping a YouTube channel. It'll air March 23rd at 10 a.m. Um, it'll be a lot. Yeah. Live. What yeah. you cooking? Some of everything, actually. I dropped a preview on my Instagram yesterday. For you know, just about everything that'll be included into the actual YouTube channel, but I'm not gonna say anything else. You just gotta watch it. Oh, I like so that. Up, <laughs> you got a name yet for it? It's right there up under my name. Dang, you need some customer her. service. Follow her. <laughs> <laughs> Use your eyes. Use your eyes to see. Boom. Who's next? Uh, that's it. Kenya? Kenya, do you want to shout out your channel? Not really. It's up there, though, but 
Why y'all, follow why, y'all, why y'all don't be promoting really yourself? Not. Promote yourself. Yeah. She said, I don't want y'all niggas messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, Leon with two ends. Yeah, so that's my Instagram right there. I'm I've been thinking about starting the channel. I'm not too positive about it. I want to get deeper into the space first before I come to a conclusion that I'm gonna start a channel, but that yeah, Leon that's with two ends, boy. That junk is that junk, that's a funny <laughs> junk right there. It's the fact that she was calling me Uncle Lee. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Who called you Uncle Lee? That was what Anton said in the first hour. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Your, baby. Your stepchild. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Hey, don't say it again, Q. Come on, now. Nah. I'm more remember you that. Said it. You literally I'm said it. Good. And why do Quinn got the default founder of creativity on the uh yeah. <laughs> who gave you that? That's the that's the default when you first started. Like oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, you just say that when you first, first yeah. sign up. But Quentin, to just to give you an insight, I do customer service every single day. I don't want to give customer service at nighttime, I do it all day. That's fair. Not I do it all day. Fair. From 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., I'm doing customer service all day. I don't like to do it at, at nighttime. It's pointless. Once I log out, it's a different queue. It's not. Yes. It's not yes, so man. One thing that y'all going, what y'all should realize by now is that uh, Q don't treat me with kid gloves on these live streams. She throw me, Quentin, all of us under the bus. So Don't tell her shit in confidence because it will be on oh, God. <laughs> The stuff, the stuff like that you weeks. said was never in confidence. You said it on this panel. That's one. Just, two. two I'm just not gonna be like your fans, Anton, that will agree if the sky is pink if you said it. You know, I don't have fans, I have friends. Nah, Q, you be violating Quentin. Right. <laughs> you be y'all violating say that, Quentin. Y'all say that, y'all be in y'all say that, but Quinn don't think I be violating him. Y'all just too sensitive, okay. Man, y'all had a whole 30 minute topic about this man's sexuality. Did we or did Anton ask other women what do they think about Quinn and would they date him? That wasn't me. That was, that was last week. Yeah, he that. That to me. That was <laughs> so make sure you say the right name. That was Anton. And I was just here like. Well, no, I was bringing it up because I wanted Quentin to. I wanted to you know, get some insight as to, or I'm sorry, I wanted to use the women or Quentin as an example, because I know who Quentin is and I know he not like what they think that he is online. <laughs> and so I was using that as, a, no, well, no, I was using that as an example to say that women usually judge a book by its cover and say that, oh no, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? He's too nice or whatever, so on and so forth. And sometimes they already prejudge it and they don't even know. You know what I'm saying? They don't mm-hmm. actually get to know a person. They just automatically just cut the guy off and be like, oh no, he does, he that. I don't think that's but then they get to know him and then be in his DMs. Make that yeah. make sense. I mean, you can be a good friend, but that's about it. See? <laughs> but you don't like friends. I don't date women with pink hair. Ooh. That's crazy. It's braids, actually. My hair's not pink. I don't date women with not real hair. Well, yeah, that's fine. Can. You did a lot of them then. Why are your girls have right fake hair? What you talking about, Quentin? What? Well, the white girls be, wear, be having extensions. Don't let it fool you, boy. Oh, oh, he 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 my girls do. Don't yeah. let him. Yes, it just goes straight through, nigga. Nothing. No extensions. No cracks. The life. black girl you brought to um the meetup, she had weave in her hair. Natural hair. That didn't. Nope. That was her real oh, hair. It was like it was weave like that. No, nope, no, nope, that was a real one. What's that say? I had it run. Dude, we can't read it either. You say he's doing his channel. Thank you, everyone. I had fun. What? Sorry for him. That boy got a whole scientific experience. Oh, shoot. In his Wait, hold on. Oops. My bad. Yep. Yeah, so go follow him. I thought you didn't want people to follow you. Go follow him. <laughs> Me. Thank you for everybody to join the panel. If you are interested in joining the panel, please do not double message me. My DMs are crazy. It's crazy. She Ladies, you are needing more too. women. Y'all see that my DMs are crazy. I'm not making it up. Just DM <laughs> me that you want to be in the panel. I'll add you to the list. DM me once. Once, fellas, just that you want to be in the panel. Watch your ass in the... <laughs> yeah. If you give me my other stuff, I'm not going to reply. So... 
um, ladies, if you want to be on panel, DM me because we need more ladies. Okay. But I do want to say thank you for everybody that joined the panel. We enjoyed you guys. Till next time. And thank you for people in the chat. Till next time.